Good afternoon and welcome to the Tower of Saragossa, our weekly live play of Fantasy Age with a scenario of my own devising. Before I get into that though, I'd just like to apologise for the slight delay in this scheduled broadcast. Um, just a minor technical issue at my end, but it appears to be sorted now, I hope. <laughs> if it's not, we'll, we'll manage without. It's not one of the core programmes that's giving me grief. So... Um, as I say, welcome to the Tower of Saragossa. I'll be your games master this evening. I'm Brian F. Irving from Gethsemane Games and DH9 Radio. Uh, the rule system we'll be using today is Fantasy Age by our friends over at Green Ronan Publishing. And the maps you will see in use are by uh, myself and Gethsemane Games using Campaign Cartographer 3 by Pro Fantasy Software. If you would like to um, support us in the creation of these maps and get the maps and other maps for your own use, do feel free to check out the Gethsemane Games Patreon. Link will be in the uh, comments beneath uh, once we go over to the recorded version on YouTube. Uh, the music you'll be hearing today is variously by the DH9 Radio Production Unit, Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com, who uh, created the one that you're currently listening to behind my voice. And of course, Tabletop Audio. Sound effects are by Tabletop Audio, Battle Bards, and the DH9 Foley unit. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Uh, the scenario is by me. As I say, it's for uh, Green Run and Publishing's Fantasy Age. And our cast today... Ah, Patrick Heaviside as Gora Clovenhelm. Hello. Uh, Sean McGuire as Kellen of Highgate. Afternoon. And Louise Morris as Mog of the Bright Eye Clan. Hi! I almost said uh, who will have a joke and then I realised we're not doing Illuminati right now, we're doing the game stream. Um, for those of you who don't know, we also do a radio programme called Illuminati on DH9 Radio on Saturdays and Sundays. Do check us out at dh9radio.com. 7 o'clock Saturday and repeat at 7 o'clock on Sunday, we do Illuminati, a discussion show about all things geeky and primarily focusing on RPGs at the, at the moment in Season 6. Okay, so um, where are we in the game? Well... The party have come to the Tower of Saragossa, a tower they expected to be ruined. Saragossa haven't been dead for 200 years and they haven't visited all three tombs that purport to be his, as well as his ancestral home, uh, the manor house in the south of the Grand Duchy. However, on arrival they discovered not only that the tower was still actively occupied by mages, but that one of them, the mistress in Halia, is uh, related to Saragossa in the she's his great great granddaughter several times removed the relationship with the magus has deteriorated somewhat with the appeal appearance of a demon the result of which has been a massive and complicated bloody magical battle which is currently on pause with most of the major's apprentices captured by the company of light the master and mistress having escaped the demon having been hunted down and destroyed but the party, having used their magical tent to rest, have discovered something dreadful in the basement beneath the tower. And that is where they're headed, to go and deal with the horrible, monstrous creature that almost killed Mog during her scouting mission down there. So what could possibly go wrong? So guys, can you remember exactly where you were when we left? Um, we were... I think we were just outside of we were just, just around the um, Ouija board you were around the Ouija board that's right I think we were okay. I can always check the last episode I think um, you might well have been because I think you were talking to the ghost of yeah. Saragossa's wife yes you? you were excellent okay, just so, a thought Yeah. W would it be worth going to the library to check to see oh sorry not the, not the library the uh, we've got Saragossa's um, Tower Journal. Would it be worth having a look through that for any mention of M M Moradoc? Um, yeah. It could be, you've, yeah. you've got the book. Mm -hmm. You take the look. 
Make sure it's okay. a skim breeze, though. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, let's just have a quick look. I'll open my master handout. It's easier to navigate uh, around. So, tower, service war chest, handouts. Here we go. Saragossa's Tower Journal. Uh, oh, look, it's one I've actually completed. That's great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just going to pop this off the main screen so that I can read it without it obscuring the um, the view. Oh, I think I've closed it. That was a good start, wasn't it? <laughs> hmm. I, I do oh. get more competent than this, just, you know, not while we're live streaming. As a, as a general rule. Um... Give me an that, audience that, and I will fuck everything up. Just watch. That, uh, that tends to be the case. When you're on your own, <laughs> minor little mistakes are, have virtually no impact. Yeah. Things like when you're typing. Yeah. But then as soon as somebody's watching you, you're very aware of everything you do that's not right. Mm. And it makes you nervous and it just compounds things and it can build your anxiety. Well, you think I'd mm -hmm. be used to audiences by now, wouldn't you? But uh, So let me have a look. Handouts, here we are. Saragossa's Tower Journal. There we go. So I'm going to pop that over to the other screen, close that, and okay, so the journal is an ageing book, bound in cracked leather, which has seen better days. The pages seem brittle and in places have become stained over the years. The ink faded in parts, and some entries have been uh, blotted, but the handwriting is unmistakably the same as that which you have found in the past and identified as Saragossa's. The journal is written in Flannies, which you, I think, all read, mm -hmm. uh, and covers the years 351 to 378 CY. Um, a great deal of the the journal deals with the tower's more um, mundane, um, mundane entries. There's something just a little bit odd about this. Hold on. Does it say who built it? Who built the tower? Mm. Yes, it does, actually. It, it, it was built by... Um, it Dwarfs? Was, no, it was built... I mean, not literally built. She didn't physically build it herself. But it was commissioned to be built by Saragossa's wife before mm -hmm. they met. Ah, it, that's it was, interesting. It, it was her tower before it was his. So technically, it's not actually Saragossa's tower. Um, He's just Columbus. Wow. He's okay. just No, 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 no. Marriage, it's an equal partnership and it's uh, um, communal property at that point. It, it is, yeah, it's communal property. It was communal <laughs> well, it's, property it's, is it's... as the laws of the Grand Duchy of Jeff. Ah, it's communal property, S says the descendant of House Caladan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, or, or, or as we, we, we might uh, now recognise him, the Sackville Bagginses. The Sackville Bagginses. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's spoons here. S silver okay. spoons, yes, we'll have them. So, We've come for the fine china. Um, can you just remind me what it was you were wanting to find in the journal? Uh, Anything well, about the butler? Yeah, about the butler. And uh, now that I think about it, if if the it, it, was the place fully built when Saragossa arrived? No, it was expanded after his arrival. Uh, initially, on his arrival, what you had was the central tower. Mm -hmm. um, everything else, the, the extensions, were commissioned after um, Saragossa right. and um, Nibiri were married. It's not, it's not what's above ground that I'm particularly interested in, in in this case. Is there any mention of what the tower was built over the top of? Yes, there is. Um, it does discuss that there were ruins beneath the tower when Nibiri had it built. And that part of the reason for building it was to trap whatever was down there and make sure it didn't escape. Oh, so there's something else down there as well, maybe. Mm. Well, up to now, we've got like a partial demon down there. Yes. In a in a circle. Yeah. Or at least an invisible demon. Yes. And we and we've got the the butler in an Iron Maiden. Mm -hmm. um, what if the butler is actually like a guard for something worse? To keep people away from freeing whatever this thing is. But did we did, did the table not tell us it was a trick of the demon to actually get him in there? Yeah. Did yes. 
Yeah, so maybe it's it's the the, the butler's a guard to prevent the demon from being destroyed. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who knows? <clears throat> Brian's Brian's crazy, so it could be well, absolutely. <laughs> um, is, is there any mention as to what the system of levers and pipes is for down there? Um, give me a because it is quite a big journal and you are trying to leaf through it to find specifics absolutely so give me a intelligence research test please because of the size of the journal um it's quite a hard task to find anything that specific so um, definitely i'll set this as a 15 target number go for it right um throw this one over to Adrian because she actually is a researcher okay also, in answer to the question that you posted in the uh, typed chat, which I've literally just seen, yes, we'll be doing this as a Facebook call. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for that. Well, better <laughs> later than never. A response. <laughs> <coughs> um, uh, right, okay. Unfortunately, she can't find anything about the system of levers and pulleys down there, no. Uh, she right. does notice a couple of things that stand out to her as particularly interesting uh, right. given your discussions um, the first of which because she recognizes it as something you've dealt with before wait a minute mm -hmm. let's click save changes on that is um, an entry she's found on the mask of ios ah mm. hang on i I, th I think we had this before i think you might have actually read that the first time didn't we, you okay we did yes we, we um the, we, as soon as soon as we got out of the place the first time and back to the um battle wagon uh we, we sat and had a, a bit of a read through it that's right and, and that was yeah. the thing that caught your eye for the same reason yeah. it's just caught hers okay um, give me a yeah. second then and i'll show you one of the other things that catches our eye um it would be I keep closing these bloody things by Terragossus Tower Journal. Um, uh, there we go. You see that out. Over that there. that was what caused the forlorn temple. It was indeed yes. Um, so that disappeared again. Where's it gone? Um, <laughs> Magic. Okay, let's just try this again. Saragossus Tower Journal, um, which should be under handouts, which I can't find. <sighs> Uh, towers, uh, handouts, there we go. Sorry, got this tower journal. Can anybody see where the hell the journal entry's gone? Um, hang on. It'll be minimised, but I can't find the damn thing. Um, I've got, yeah, Saragossa's tower journal. The only thing that I can see in there is handouts for Saragossa. Yeah. A, a journal entry for the Mask of Ios. Yeah. 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 Yeah, got that. Yeah, it's just the the uh, the when I click to open it, it's telling me it's already opened, but I can't see it on the screen it's anywhere. It's not doing that for me. It's it's in the middle of my screen. <laughs> what the entire journal or just the specific part that? Uh... Just just that bit that you t you should, you've shown us so yeah. far. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to refresh my screen because I cannot reopen that journal so lovely that we're having tech it might have hit it on another phone. screen but it's uh, no it's not on another screen which is the odd thing um it, it doesn't pop windows out unless you tell it to tell it to um, yep exactly yeah, yeah so it shouldn't be on another screen <laughs> nope. it's, it's... i did tell it to pop the master handout over onto the other screen and that uh, i was reading on the other screen but it just disappeared the journal when i did it so let's not do that again uh, so, looking through it, she finds a section on um, dated Star's Day the 1st of Good Month in uh, 361CY. It seems to deal with Saragossa's arrival at the... There you go. Yeah. Uh, Saragossa's arrival at the tower. I'm just going to minimise these rather than popping them out onto another screen. Because when I pop one out, it seems to just disappear the other one. Um, so, uh, Star's Day the 1st of Good Month, CY 361. I have begun this journey as I began my life. Too long have I hidden in caves, hiding away from the world. Several days ago I arrived at the Tower of Nibiri, the Sorceress. 
She had found me living in the squalor of the old caves and took pity upon me. Many times she came to visit and we would talk, and as we talked our friendship grew. Eventually she asked me to come with her to the tower. My first sight of it came as we crossed into this hidden valley. I recall thinking how much larger it is than I had imagined. Namiri, humble as ever, apologised for how humble it is. In the few days I have dwelt here with her, I have learned that there are dungeons beneath the tower that were here before the tower was built. According to Mabiri, they are used as cellars and storage. The scriptorium in the tower is impressive, greater than the library at my father's mansion ever was. There are a great volume of works upon magic, its theory and practice, and there are shelves of bestiaries. Also, there are books that speak of other lands in great detail, gazetteers of immense detail. Nibiri showed me books about her homeland, and we talked of them extensively. I find it fascinating and wish greatly to see it one day. She has agreed that one day we will visit, but that she has the desire to dwell. Uh, she has no desire to dwell there again. Yeah, missing the word. <laughs> oh, it is missing the word. That should be yeah. no desire. Yeah. Um, also, or not, not. It could be she has not the desire to dwell there again. Yeah. Maybe if it was formal speech, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, you've... En entirely possible that that um, Sarah Gosson made that mistake. Indeed, so. Um, okay. Also, you find a section in there uh, entitled Nabiri's Warning, in mm -hmm. which she warns that his uh, friend Dargath is not his friend at all, that she senses some great evil in him, mm -hmm. and that the experiments they've been carrying out in the basement laboratory they've built um, are dark and should be stopped immediately. Mm -hmm. You can see from the entry that Saragossa is coming round to her way of thinking, and he actually mentions confronting Dargath about the experiments. Um, Reading on, you find a little while later he did exactly that. <coughs> In an entry entitled The Nightmare of the Iron Maiden, he talks about confronting Dargath about exactly what this thing is that they're building, that apparently it was supposed to be a vessel for his brother to bring his dead brother back. But uh, after discussions with Nibiri about it and his own suspicions, they don't believe that that's really what it is. At this point, Dargath um, turns, for the first time, turns on Saragossa and explains that, uh, or announces that indeed it isn't. It's something much, much greater than something that would merely bring back, as he, rephra as he phrased it, Saragossa's pathetic brother. At wow. Which, at which point the butler, who's with Saragossa during the confrontation, uh, finds himself dragged into the Iron Maiden by some strange magical force. The Iron Maiden clangs shut around him, piercing his body with the spikes inside. And as he screams, he becomes melded to the Iron Maiden itself, which then attacks Saragossa and drives him from the, uh, the dungeon. It's shortly after that that you find an entry entitled Dargath's Exile which describes how Nibiri and Saragossa took um, to the dungeon in full battle gear with all their magical items and in a massive magical battle threw down Dargath, unable to destroy him completely, but managed to exile him. It's not clear whether it exiled him from the tower or from the prime material plane of existence. But it's from, from his physical form. Or from his physical form. Yeah. Yeah. But it then goes on to describe how they failed in repeated attempts to free the butler from the Iron Maiden. Mm. I would have had those actually written out for you, but it's been a hell of no, a few it's... weeks. And I Absolutely. Just didn't quite get the time to put those into the kind of flowery... Mm -hmm. um, so freeing him's not an option after all this time. It's uh... Unfortunately, freeing him, they couldn't find any way of doing it. You can see from the entries that even years after the event, they were still studying various forms of magic in an attempt to find a way to free him. But it always came back to 
there is no uh, there is no free freedom but death right Yikes. in in our in our studies as mages have myself and adrian ever read anything heard anything about iron maidens okay give me an uh, um arcane law test intelligence arcane law these are extremely rare so it's a formidable yep. test target number 17 Absolutely. I hear, I hear they're at the strongest two minutes to midnight. Oh. That's when you should run to the hills. <laughs> I was going to crack that one. <laughs> you all did last week. <laughs> but, 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 but can we play with madness? I don't know. Oh, dear. <sighs> and then... Okay, so uh, Gora hasn't really heard anything about these with... creatures before? With with a, with the bonus from Adrian. Um, okay, with the bonus from Adrian, you might be able to. So have have Adrian make a roll as well in support, and whatever her stunt dice is, we'll swap that result for your stunt dice and see if that gets you over. Right, you It's it's not about the numbers, but the nope. butler's going to be a free man. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately for you, um, mm -hmm. no. Right, okay then. Right. So we head down there. Yep. Um, from Mog's report, how how based on sight um, are its responses? Okay. Um, Mog, you, you were have... doing a lot of running and screaming at the time. I was, yeah. So I'm going to say give me a perception any focus you like the target number will be 13 and if you pass i'll tell you what you think it's uh primary senses were <laughs> my only focus is in perception of searching and empathy okay empathy will do yeah uh so that will give you a 12 and i think i just said 13 was the target didn't i sorry That's you're going to get stun points if you pass, and if you scored oh, one less than you needed to, you didn't pass, mm. I'm afraid. Fair enough. I don't think it's a T-Rex, though. Yes. So you're not absolutely sure, because um, all you really remember is the running and the screaming and the getting hurt. And also, I... like, before, before it spotted me, I was being pretty quiet, so I don't think that it... It was doing stuff based on echolocation, if that helps. Yeah. You what don't, I want to know is... You don't think it heard you. You think as it came no. around the corner and just happened to see you. Yeah. yeah. Great. If, if, it's, if it's mostly vision-based, then we make ourselves invisible. We might get a few rounds of ranged combat on it before it works out where the attacks are coming from. However, I was wearing the Cloak of Shadows. I wasn't well, like invisible, invisible, hard. but I would have been hard to spot. You would have been yeah. very hard to spot, yes. Okay. Would we'll spot you, it did. It yes. did. Mm. So, what would you like to do next? Let's get straight down there. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to scroll back a moment to check something, because something has just occurred to me. This is still sitting at the bottom of the well waiting for me to come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's occurred to me is when I refreshed this thing, I didn't get the little bleep to tell me that the APIs were ready. I think we know what that means, don't we? Oh, no. uh, I'm just going to injure one of you temporarily just to see if the API scripts are working. Don't worry about it, I'll put your hit points back. <laughs> That's, that, that's it. Oh, oh my goodness. Snap. No, God's no, I, just going to snap your, your leg to see if things are working. <laughs> I'm sorry, Perla, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, I'm right. I've spotted it in time. The API <laughs> scripts are not working. They're broken and we are going to need them. So I'm just going to mm -hmm. pop out, fix the... <laughs> Actually, I'm going to open another screen to do this because that worked well last time. So, roll 20. And Company of Light. People at home can now see just how many games I run. That's only a section of them. If I scrolled down, there'd be more than that as well. Um, settings. If, if, if we head down through the dungeons. API scripts, yep. Across the puzzle floor. And that way on that, that Mog said all linked up. Yeah. 
Your um, scripts are currently disabled due to an error that was detected. Please make appropriate changes to your script's code and click Save Script. Oh, shit. Uh, for reference, the error message generated was cannot read property get of undefined... Okay. I didn't write the script, so how the hell should I know how to fix it? Right, okay, let's just try to restart in the sandbox and see what happens. That's just occurred to me that that uh, mapper doodles in player chat was slightly wrong because I've put where the dungeon links up on the wrong floor. With those bleeps API things coming up, were there? Let me just get in. I, back I didn't in. hear any. Yep, yeah, there you are. API ready, teleport hey. and main menu active. Awesome. Brilliant. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, sorry, what was the. Uh... Louise was, was saying she made, uh, made a, an issue with the, the map there. Well, well we're, we're, you, you, can, you can show us around uh, where you've been. Um, my interest is in what those levers do. Yeah, I'm very interested in those levers. Yeah. Well, yeah, famous last words. I pull the left lever, no, the right one. Uh, <laughs> the floor opens up into a pit full of spikes. Have you ever seen, I'm trying to remember which comedian it was, um, who told the story about he was once at a, a, on a safari thing and he'd said, he'd been told by the person he was with, when you encounter the, the tigers, uh, you can approach them, just not too closely, make sure to make eye contact with them though. So he did, and then I, he's suddenly aware of the fact that somebody in the distance is yelling and waving their hands, and when he looks around, he can just hear their guy going, I mean, don't make eye contact with them. <laughs> 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 Look, I think it might have been Billy Connolly, but I'm not 100% sure. Right, okay. So Look at those impressive. tigers staring them out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would have known instantly, because cats, staring at a cat is a challenge. You should slow uh -huh. blink your eyes, and that works. Whether it's a small cat or a big cat, slow blink in their eyes is a sign that you're not a challenge, that you're a friend. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously, if you don't know that... <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, so you're going to head back down, did you say? Yes, uh, via the dungeon this time. Via, via the... the dungeon. You, you, mean, you mean we're going to go up via, to the via, floor? Yes, but via, via, the, the, via the, the secret staircase. The secret staircase. Yes. yes. So right. not via the well, but uh, by what we have known up to now as the dungeon entrance. Right, yes, okay. So the one you knew about, which is you go up a few levels and you go down the secret uh, stairwells. Yeah. Dozens of levels. Yeah. <laughs> well, not dozens, but you go all the way down till you're knackered from climbing stairs. We're you get, get, grand old you you get York, through the yeah. first two rooms and then Gora goes, shall we climb all those stairs again and go back? <laughs> And the rest also, of the party we need goes. To do a lot of mage unlocking. Sorry, say that again, Louise. Also, we now need to do a lot of mage unlocking. No, 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 no. no. Just, just passwords. Yes. Uh, yeah. Goro was and cautious we'll... to put a password on each one, yeah. so if you know the password, uh, you can get through. Them. Just, just a heads up: we should probably check that there's no invisible master hiding down there, waiting for us to unlock the door. Then you should. How would you like to go ahead and do that? Do we I have think... some? Can I just like wildly <laughs> stab the air? It, in in much the same way as as we've tried to. Um, penetrate invisibility previously when when you have a suspicion to do so. I think it's just a perception test. We we, we, we penetrated the illusion on the gates. That's right. That way. It's a perception seeing test. Yeah. So oh, if you good. if you that's would good. like good. if you would like to give me a perception seeing test on each other, you have to have a reason to make it. You don't just get one automatically. Um, you have to have a reason to, to well, make one, the, but the, you the, do the have a reason. You think, you know the mistress at least can go invisible. Yes. You know that they are moving around the um, the, the area. You don't know exactly where they're at. They could be coming up. I would say that's a reasonable reason. So give me also, perception seeing tests. Yes. We maintain the um, bloodhound. So you know where the master is, right? He's still beneath yeah. you. Right. And to the west, you think. Right. Okay, Fact, that's interesting. He doesn't seem to have moved since the last time. Oh, God, what? is he dead? You don't know. Yeah, I, I, now we have to check the wording of Bloodhound there. Does it, you know, does, does it, does it deactivate if the target dies or... 
Can can you bloodhound a corpse? Uh, give me a arcane law test. It's a it's a spell you already have, so I'd say this is a routine what? test. It's only a seven. What what what, what if a I, vampire? I, I, what if a vampire drains the, the the person, and they've now got the blood inside them? Uh, Are you tracking the vampire? Oh, that's a good question. Um, that's that's I, a I, well, Hang on, you're not you're not tracking the blood per se. The blood is just like a sympathetic link to the being. Mm. Mm. It, I mean, it's called Bloodhound, but that's that's like an affectation. <laughs> I'm just I'm just messing with you. I suppose technically mm. Bloodhounds don't actually sniff your blood either. The smell mm. for you, mm. you know, your sweat, sweat and what have you. Yeah. Nasty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so on the way down the set of stairs, I only so far have Mog's perception, and you haven't spotted any invisible people following yeah, so I'm, you. I'm, or... I'm, I'm just looking at Bloodhound. Yeah, no problem. See, I just assumed that it would be a blood dragon spell because I assumed it was kind of based off the Dragon Age spell that I don't know if it exists within the Dragon Age tabletop, but it does within the games. Which is a blood how... magic spell. Yeah, because yeah, that's how they find uh, right. Anders' flag tree. Mm -hmm. Well, considering that Bloodhound, the first part of it says you divine the presence of an object you've put a blood mark on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or... Or a living creature whose blood you have a sample of. So it does so seem in to be both the actual terms, blood you're tracking. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, no, no, but they have to be alive. A living creature, it's... yes. Yeah. yeah. A living so you can't, creature. you can't bloodhound an undead. Mm -hmm. Well, you could if you'd put your blood on them. No, because it still yeah, says I... that you track a living creature, doesn't it? But, 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 you could mark their equipment. You, you were, yeah, you were, you were very precise on, on the wording, so I'll read the entire thing. You can divine the presence of an object you have put a object. blood mark. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't object, have to be a yes. living thing. Yeah. yeah, object you put a blood mark on, yeah. or a living, living creature, creature whose, blood you, have, whose yeah. blood you have a sample of. Yeah. So, a sample of undead blood, you wouldn't be able to track? Um... Well, I don't know. Uh, I would say not, but I think you could track undead if you placed your blood symbol on it, because yes. it would then count as an object. I, yes, I, I agree. Mm. Um, that's that's quite a quite a yeah mm. interesting rule as as such so or it, interesting it, it spell. Re it, it really is tracking the blood. Yeah, it, it seems to be. Yeah. yeah. So I think Louise is right. I think it's inspired by the spell from Dragon mm. Age. And given that Dragon Age is one of the Age collection of games, mm. um, that does kind of make sense. So mm. anyway, um, yes. the, the master doesn't appear to have moved. You don't notice any invisible creatures as you're moving down the, uh, the staircase either. It's a, it's a false presence. Could be, excuse me, sorry about that. Could be. Uh, just need to find the dungeon level. There it is. Maybe the master was really an illusion and it was uh, almost the demon. Okay. Well, this how, seems to how, have... how well known is Power Arcana? Power Arcana is reasonably well known. Um, sorry, I'm just going to have to... I've got a new API script installed that should bring you across whenever I move maps. And mm -hmm. it kind of has, but it's also scattered everybody <laughs> to the four winds. Um, <laughs> and it's got um, an old... I where I was last week. It's, it's got an old uh, avatar for, or, or picture for Adrienne. Right. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just delete them all and do it manually um, like a peasant. Um, <laughs> so that API is not quite as useful as it immediately sounded. Never mind. Live and learn. Oh shit! Yeah. Right. Um, of those perception tests, uh, Gora has equaled Mogs, but not got as many stunts. So Mogs in the lead for that. Okay. I'm just gonna delete all of these and then bring you over from your character sheets in the old-fashioned way. Um, <laughs> Carrot sheets. Let me just find it. Party. You've not got Baden or Navigate Sister Erin with you. Adrian no. is. 
Kellen is, Gora is, Mog is, and bizarrely, Adrian's has come out without without a green. Without a yeah. green, so I'm just going to relink her. Oh, an older version of the of the uh, token as well. Of Adrian's token. No uh, Mog as well. Yes, it is. Okay, well, let me fix Adrian first, and then I'll sort Mog out. Right. Um, so I need to. Which way are we going? Adrian, East or south? Attach health. Health. There we go. And might as well. Not bother with that. There you go. Okay, done. That's Adrian sorted. Just give me a second. I'll copy Mog over from one of the maps where she is using her new avatar um so we know you were all together on level two just a moment ago so if I going go level two going east is the is the evocation room mm -hmm. do we want to go through there at all considering how cold it was and the the demonic presence i would say let's just i, I gotta can check to make sure that the the door is still mage locked mm -hmm. if it is then Oh, I've, I've just thought of something. Mm. All these locks are all well and good. One of the apprentices had an Earth Arcana scroll mm -hmm. and, and tunneled through a wall. Could do a password on it. Or, or, or as, far, as far as we're aware, like teleported through a wall or whatever. Yes. Uh, did, did one of our number actually pass through the same tunnel? Yeah. Uh, yes. Callan did, didn't he? Yes, that's right. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're aware that that spell exists and is you know, within the house. Yes, you do. And you don't actually know in character that it was cast from a scroll, so as far as you know. Yeah. That's true, um, yes. Yeah, has it. Yeah. However, what I will say is, while it may be in the house, why wasn't it used when we were in that secret room and they were trying to get the door open? Good point. If if they could just very easily walk through a wall, why did why, they do why it even then? bother having a door? Yeah, That's just brick brick point. it up and seal That's it. That's a very good point. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So just going round, going to check that the um, going to check that that door's locked. Uh, okay. So you head through the the Roman chamber and check to see that this door's locked. It appears to be, yes. Okay. Then is this one still locked? Um, I just seem to lose sight of you there a second. Is that one still locked? Did you lock that yeah. one? And if yeah, so, we yes. lost. I, it, it is. Yes, it, it it's is. written, written, it written, on, it's the written on the map. Written on the map, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's still locked. I, cool. I went, I went to, to great pains to lock all of these doors yes. be, be, before we completely 180'd and, and went back another way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not that that uh, is a sore point at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, um, I'm going to leave you guys for just a moment while okay. you discuss your plans because I've suddenly realised I think I've bolted the front door and my wife's due home any moment. So I'm just sure. going to go and let her in. If, 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 if we can, we're, we're just going to push on through, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, um, you know, unless things have changed. Uh, I think, I think the, the standing rule is we can move around in the room that we're in. Yeah. So, yeah, probably just best to wait. Okay, so we're going to head south yeah. to here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then are we going to go east at that point or are we going to go west at that point there's a uh, door over here somewhere the, the door to the door to the west is mage locked we have previously and opened guess it got to the door too late and is now in trouble uh, oh <laughs> nah, that would be right. you that would be me yeah okay uh, it's our fault we kept you <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it was i unlocked it this morning or rather she unlocked it this morning when she left I locked it again as force of habit when I went to the bins later. Uh, anyway, so, what are you up to? We're heading south. Yeah, heading south through that locked door. Okie dokie. Or currently unlocked door. 
I'm taking it as seeing as you can see through it. I haven't actually restored the door there, so you should be able to just move straight through. Yep. Excellent. No. No? Oh, no, I can't. Sorry, I was stuck on a wall, but I've got it. Every week? Every week you get stuck on a wall. <laughs> like it, it, It's like old school Baldur's Gate all over again. <laughs> You cannot <coughs> progress until your party are complete or whatever the heck it was. Right. Uh, okay, I'm just going to change my view to there. So Even enter... the walls hunger for Mog. <laughs> <laughs> so entering the next chamber, it's still exactly how you remember it. A cold, um, dark... That's a point. Do you have a source of light operating? Um, if need be, the 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 um, the, the um, sorry, go for the major, major staff. Okay, who's carrying the staff? Uh, still Adrian. Still Adrian. So I'm going to set her to uh, emanates light. So dynamic lighting. Uh, oh, she's already emanating light. Of course, so she's it? already set, yeah. as far as I can tell. Well, so otherwise, I can't see. Yeah. When when I go into this room over here, it's in like half light. That's because you're seeing it through your night vision. Yes. Yeah. It should be a kind of blue tint to it your is. night it vision is, yes. as well. I think Mog's night vision's a greenish tint. No, mine's red there, which is, is, is it red? really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I can change the colour if you don't like the one you've got. <laughs> it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's just, it used to be green and now it's red and it's like, oh, are my eyes bleeding? Strikes me as pink more pink of a, well, like a, a vampire's hunting vision or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, the door at the far side is still the puzzle door, but you know yep. the answer to the puzzle now. Yes. Um, uh, we, we do, but um, I, I also mage locked it. You did, yeah. Yeah. But again, you put a password on it, I believe. That's, um, did, I, did I password all of these? I believe so. If you I, did, I, think I, I, think, I think I did. I think I did because... I want the rest of the party to be able to use these doors, even if I'm not there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So is it melons? <laughs> is it melons. <laughs> <laughs> Those coconuts. <laughs> right. Ah, okay. it's so good too. So that. moving into the corridor beyond, you see that this wide corridor again shows no change from when you were last here. To your uh, right, as a set of double doors, to the Left at the far end is a single door, and a single door at the um, at the far end on the north wall as well. The corridor itself is cold and dark, but dry at least. Just making sure that uh, this one is also still locked, hasn't been tampered with. It hasn't been tampered with. No, and we've clo really. we've closed those other ones as we've come through. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Lovely. Right, let's let's push on. So it was puzzle floor. Uh, yep. That one, that one should be locked as well. It is. Yeah. Good. Good. Mm. Okay. So you um, actually, let me just check. Yeah, that one I'm going to need to open for you. So whoever's at the front, if you'd just like to Hi. click the open door button, so that should open that door. Uh, hang on. I can do it for there you go. Hey! <laughs> that's that. Sorry, that's very clever. See? API scripts working. Yay. Marvellous. Okay, so you head through the puzzle floor. I take it you're following the, the route that you yeah. worked out the last time. Yeah. yeah. The um, orange tiles smell of orange. The orange tiles. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, the orange tiles. I don't think we have any orange tiles. We have red. See, if you if you watched that video, I said, yeah. Um, with the tile puzzle that this reminded me of. All oh, right, yes. You no, would I have understood. I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Yes. Okay, so Monk, when... you're creeping round along yeah, these. Can, can we see a door here? Can you yes. see? Yeah, there's yes. A door there. Yes, there's a door there as well. Okay. That you didn't. You've never been through that one. No, we well, haven't. There was, there was. There's a different route to get to it. Yeah. There okay. is. I can bring the puzzle floor up if you'd like to try and reach the other door. Oh, we, we we know we know the route. Not to the destroy you, don't. And uh, no, we we did both the, the the north way around and the south way around. To this it's, door, yeah. It's it's shape to shape, colour to colour. Yes, it is. Uh huh. Right. 
Uh, hang on. There we go. Oh no, there is a southern. There is a southern route. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm certain that we had. We had both written down at one point. Yeah, you yeah. Have. Yeah. yeah. I can see where you've written it on the. Uh, um, on the floor of the puzzle room. Yeah, so it goes. It goes puzzle. like. Goes like this. Yeah. But you've certainly never been through that door. So if you want to take that other route and go through the other yeah. door, that's an option as well. Right. Okay. Well, the, the thing we're doing is to is to link up with where um, Mog got up to. Okay. Uh, no good. This is where she. Uh, um, you did get to this point at some point. Yeah, I did. Trying, I did. I'm That's trying true. to remember the order in which things happened when you were running away from the Iron Maiden the last time. It day. wasn't when I was running away from the Iron Maiden. I'd I'd gone up the stairs at the side first, so I wanted to see where they go, and then I came back and went That's... down towards where the Iron Maiden was, and then went eek and ran away. That's correct. Yes. So <laughs> after turn... being viciously attacked. Attacked. Yeah. I, I can also confirm that having seen it recently. Yeah. So turn in that corner, you look down that long corridor. There's a cor there's a door about halfway along on the east side, and then the corridor opens into that kind of demi room at the bottom from which mm -hmm. there are two corridors off. One you know leads to the stairs, and the mm -hmm. other you know leads to the room with the pipe and, and the first lever in it. That's what we're there's, that's what we're looking for. There's a door here. Yeah, there's a bunch of doors down this corridor mm. as well that I never actually had a look at because they were all locked and I didn't want to go poke around in case there's anyone behind them. That's right. Yeah. Do you want so to poke around? So Adrian's standing by one door you've not been through. There's one about three meters ahead of Mog on the left, yeah. and then there's the room you're actually looking for at the end of the corridor down here, and the stairs right. here. Also, uh, the room you're looking for, you've got to get through the antechamber first, and there's a huge mm -hmm. set of double doors that you can't see, but Mog has seen. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. To the west of that one. So it gives you quite a few options. Well, let's go and take a look at this lever first and see if we can right. work out what it does. Okay. Right, so the, whoa. What? How did Adrian sneak past me? <laughs> I don't know, the sneaky Excuse these shadow mages, you know. I'm the Pied Piper here. I've been down here before. Are, are, are we rats? <laughs> we <We're laughs> children as well. <coughs> okay, so moving down, you find yourselves coming through that antechamber I mentioned, which has the <coughs> corridor off to the east and mm -hmm. a huge impressive double doors to the left. But heading down into the smaller chamber... Um, and I'll just put the view on from what the players can see. Heading down to the smaller chamber, you see, I'll just describe this for you. Tower of Saragossa, upper dungeon level, area uh, 10, and I'll pop that out as well. Is that a bucket? It is a bucket, yeah. So, description of the room to follow... The room contains a strange tubular brickwork feature running from floor to ceiling with a large pipe protruding from it at about three feet off the ground. There is a single, somewhat rotted wooden bucket nearby and a large bronze lever covered in verdigris by the wall. Uh -huh. Right. Thing on. I've, <laughs> I, I've got a, little, a couple of theories on what this might be. Okay. Firstly, that the well isn't actually a well, that mm. it's it's the shaft of a lift, and it's just been made up to look like a well at the top to disguise it. Okay. Right. Deafening silence. Um, <laughs> the other one is the, 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 the tube sort of pipe working that we've got is that it might be some sort of pneumatic tube for delivering something quickly from floor to floor, from place to place. 
But from what Mog remembers, it goes from here and yeah. runs down into the lower dungeon. Underwater. It goes underwater yeah. in the lower dungeon. It's 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 a toilet system. <laughs> it's for making hot water to go in your bath. You hope not, because that tubular thing is definitely the big tubular thing that the pipe comes out of is definitely the well or mm. connects to the well on the surface. So you really hope it's not also the toilet system. Yeah. <laughs> right. So Anything it... you feeling a bit cholera really. <laughs> It's for it's probably for uh, what you call it, um, getting water to the upper levels. Yeah, I, Taking, I suspect so. But is is the lever in the floor or on the wall? It's on the floor. It's on the floor. It's on the floor. And, it's quite and high. And how? And and how big is it? How 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 long is the handle of the lever? Uh, a standing human would be able to operate the lever without bending over much. So it's like sort of one of those um, like. Changing the points things that are yes. on a railway. Yes, very yeah. much like that. See, so, yeah, right. I think it's something to do with water levels or closing gates or both. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to, to agree it with you. To be makes honest, yeah. Think of like locks in a canal. Yeah. As thought. There, there was just something about the the fact that there was a lever right next to, like the the circular. Um, building of the of the of the well shaft that made me think lift mm -hmm. okay should, 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 should i try pulling this then <laughs> if you want <laughs> yeah give me, well it's up to you Why does yep. fall from the okay. ceiling <laughs> do you want to check it for traps or something beforehand <laughs> yeah, yeah Mog, right. hang on i've got a checking for trap doors okay dokey <laughs> yeah that would be for pull the lever and you're standing on the trap door that operates um, <laughs> Coming to a scenario near you soon. <laughs> okay, Mog, uh, looking around the lever, look at the lever, don't look at, don't look at the lever, look around the lever, not in the lever. You can't see <laughs> anything that looks particularly trappy except for there's a socking great lever here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't oh, think this, yeah. that it's connected to a trap, certainly not one you can detect anyway. In fact, yeah. to paraphrase, looks clear. Actually, right. That's not to paraphrase, without, that's with, to without wanting, without wanting to invite um, further accusations of bondage, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to tie a rope around myself and hand the other end to Callan. <coughs> okay. okay. I'm just right. going to mute myself for a moment because Kev's just come back with the shopping. Okay, okay. Right. Before before you actually pull the lever. Yep. Um, does it warrant a closer examination to see whether or not it's been used recently? But we know it's covered in verdigris. I think it's covered in verdigris, so it can't can't have. Been, well, it could have been used lately, but not often enough to polish the verdigris off. Yeah. Okay. So it's not a well used lever. No, nah, definitely not. Okay. Is, is that it was pot? once by the look of it, but not anymore? Is that what this po this pot here? That, that the okay. um, rotten wooden. Um, Bucket, yes. Rotten wooden, right. Looking straight up yep. from where that bucket is, mm -hmm. is there anything in the ceiling? Uh, no, there's just a ceiling. You look straight up and there's the earthen ceiling of the the chamber. When Mog went to the well, mm -hmm. did she see a bucket? Uh, yes. Okay. Sorry, I think there for a moment, couldn't remember, but yes, yes, yes. Okay. Pulling the lever. Okay, so you reach out and pull the lever, which hasn't been uh, operated for a long time. It hasn't been oiled either. Uh, so it's a little bit on the stiff side. It's not iron, so it can't have rusted shut. But there is a bit of verdigris, which, although not likely to jam the lever, does make it just a little bit more difficult to pull than might be normal. So give me a strength might test. It's oh a relatively easy job, so it's a target of nine. Oh, dear. <laughs> Look at that, triple six. Oh, there, there you go. go. Ten. You made it. Gora struggles Eat. with the lever a little bit, but eventually manages to pull it back. And he is... And then nothing. Like, like dripping? There was a single drip, yeah. Uh, and, and some sort of like metal-on-metal metal grinding or anything? Yes. Yeah. Possibly a gate. Okay, so having a listen to that pipe then. 
Okay. Give me a perception hearing test. Please. You don't hear anything, Alfred, except the yep. sea. You place your ear to the <laughs> uh, the thing, and you hear the sea, and you realise that that's not actually the sea you're hearing. Yes. I keep trying to do things I'm not very good at. <laughs> yeah, well, I built a fence recently, so I know how you feel. Um, <laughs> Is it stirred up? Yes. Then you're pretty good at it. We've had a gale since then as well, and it barely twitched. Oh, what, 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 what did Gail think of it? Uh, she thought it was all right. Yeah. Mm. So I thought it wasn't entirely straight in places, and uh, <laughs> two of the pills need to be straightened up. But apart from that, it's fine. And I need to put the gate on. But yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, so, um, yeah, you're not quite sure what happened when you flipped mm -hmm. that le lever. Yeah. Uh, except the minute you've let go of it there, to turn around is clunk back into place. Ah. So that looks like a some sort of flush device. Would be by deduction, you pulled it, it's done something. Yes. And now it's and refilling. It, and it's reset. <coughs> so mm. what would you like to do next? Or it requires two people at the same time to pull both levers. So there's only one lever there. Or do you mean no, no, the, 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 the one, one downstairs. downstairs? Right, got you. Yeah. Okay. Well maybe you've got to pull that one first and then this one. Yeah, it could be any combination of uh, of the two simultaneously, or one, one after the other. The other. But yeah. you haven't got time to pull this one, run downstairs, and pull the other one. No, this uh, is why oh, it, take, yeah. it takes more than one person to do it. Okay. Possibly right. quite deliberately. Okay, so what are we going to do next? So I, I presume that that uh, to the right, the curving corridor. Y that's yeah. That's, uh, the the stairs are down down that way. Yeah. Right. Um, let's let's let, let's head down. See if anything's changed by pulling that lever. Okay. Um. It's that where the monstrosity is. Uh, it's where yes. it was last seen. It's where it was last seen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was where it was encountered. That was yeah. what I was meaning. Right. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're ready for this, are you? As fun as the levers are, um, I, I, I'm hankering for some combat. Already? <laughs> You've had like five weeks and now what else? <laughs> yeah, I must admit that the, 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 game, the, the game yesterday was quite uh, brutal. Um, I'm trying to remember which one I was running yesterday. Oh, yes. With the with the with the guys that were just like ambushing the caravan, the post-apocalyptic one, yeah, yeah. Oh no, sorry. Last night was uh, Titan's grave. Yeah, Titan's grave. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was it's... more than a few people went in the grave at that point. Yeah, yeah there certainly was. Okay, can anybody see <laughs> anything on this map? Because you shouldn't be able to. Uh, I, uh, I, 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 I can I can see one I can see one I can see one miniature. Hang on, I can Sister. see not I can see Sister Erin. Why yeah. the fuck does she keep turning up everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> and and the, that bottom part of the map, the bottom four squares of the map where yeah. she's illuminating it, just the wall effectively. In, in the wall, she always appears in the wall. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Maybe she's a Floyd fan. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see everywhere I went last week, but I can't see if there's anyone there. Okay. Now that's better. I would be no. totally taking inspiration from that for for a um, for an adventure. From what, sorry? Why does she always turn up in the walls? Yes. <laughs> so, Gora's, so, so, Gora's got a bucket, though. So I'm t yeah, well, yes, the bucket seems to have covered you. Yeah. He's <laughs> stood, stood in the bucket, floating I've, in the water. I've become a meme. I has a bucket. <laughs> There's well, a the walrus wants a word with you. Yeah. The weird so, things I wondered if what batteries kind of look like the Bauhaus face. Yeah. So I'm just moving you into the corridor at the bottom yep. of the stairs. So you went down the wide arcing corridor and Go. crept down the stairs. M Mog, Mog would have gone first. Aye. Yeah. So Mog's at the front there. Yep. Um, at the bottom yep. you emerge into another large chamber. Um, Large-ish chamber. This time the centre of the chamber is one large pool of water. The circular um, stone um, thing runs through the ceiling and down into the water here but you can just see that there's an arch here so the whatever that tube is there's a, a submerged doorway or a submerged entrance of some kind 
under the water, which Mog, Mog tells you is how she got out of the well when she climbed down. That she climbed down under that, which mm. comes out into this pool of water. There's a walkway around the pool, and there's a waist height on a human wooden, um, somewhat rotted now over the years, wooden um, rail. Rail, rail. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, on the far side, you notice there is an exit where the water flows out under a wooden bridge. You also notice that next to that, there is a narrow exit on the pathway as well. Also, in the centre of the north wall, there is a damp passageway which leads deeper into the northern section. The whole chamber is quite cold and damp. What would you like mm. to do? Has anything changed since the last time you were here, Mog? I.e., has that lever upstairs done anything down here that you can notice? Uh, Mog? Well, that, big, that big iron off isn't here. The big iron off is not here, but you can't <laughs> see the... Any changes, no. Well, clearly that switch switched him off, so um, job done. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there Mog, you go. Mog, no. Mog is currently doing that thing that sometimes, like, you see people that think they're like, tough do, where they're like they're clearly terrified but pretend they're not. Yeah. My every minute on a stage. <laughs> <laughs> So, what would you like to do other than peer around nervously, wondering where this giant metal monster could be? A quick concern. Um, I suppose you made a fair bit of noise last time you were down here, yeah? I did when I was escaping, yeah. And it, 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 it didn't attract any additional enemies? I mean, I didn't really have enough time to have a proper good look around, but I didn't see any as yeah. I was taking it away from my feet. Okay. Have, you been, have you been up the northern corridor? have there's a lot more doors and stuff up there and it does go around a corner that i didn't explore yeah. also she and does it... know there's a lever in this room that you guys can't yeah. see from where you are but she has previously mentioned it yeah, yeah. yeah. i guess in this corner that's correct yes <laughs> i suspect that one's for raising the lower in the bridge see this bridge here Could be. yeah yeah Perhaps not, but... Mm. Yeah, it's either that or there is a gate way back down <clears throat> the along place. past the waterway. Metal monster get, this way? Yeah, didn't really get a chance to have a good look at that. You didn't, no, you were being chased by the big metal monster. Yeah. Taking that was towards the west. Yes. yes. Over in the far. Quick technical question. Mm -hmm. When we were fighting the suits of armour... Yes. Um, we used suspend enchantment to great effect. Yes. But from a rules perspective, it only continued to be effective as long as the combat, i.e. the encounter, yes. persisted. That's right. With, o with only one enemy, mm -hmm. if suspend enchantment did work, mm -hmm. that would effectively bring the combat to an end, mm -hmm. effectively bring the encounter to an end and then it was after which over again. <laughs> yes yes although although is it still combat if you're wailing on the uh with your weapons on the um uh unanimated uh yeah if you're going to attack it it's still the same scene yeah definitely still yeah. the same encounter because it, it, I, I would say an end of combat is when you've decided that you're not going to you're, you're not fighting anymore effectively i mean right okay it's just like you know that that's a, an important rules question that will affect the the, the tactics. Yeah, because because the the enemy is not destroyed; they're yeah. just inert mm -hmm. in front of you. That's right. So attacking them, hitting them, it's it's still an attack, though. That's yeah. right. Yes, it's still it make it still the same encounter. Yeah. If it is if it is effectively enchanted and the the, the enchantment is suspended, then whatever magic is keeping him in there should ideally, technically, hopefully. Mm -hmm stop working and it should just be a matter of the metal right the, the problem you've got though yeah. might be that it's a um an opposed test against the caster of the magic yes it's possible and if it's been how should we say demonized um, oh, yes. mm -hmm. potentially uh boosted mm -hmm. yes 
you might not have any chance of suspending oh, that, it. That, that, that's entirely possible, in, in which case, you know, we, we attempt to cast the spell, it fails, we, we try something else. We we, we have well, we have Mark, extreme vi- we have lots of extreme violence to fall back on. Yeah, Mog had a tactic that she used last time of uh, running and screaming. Running away. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I would it would it, would it pursue people up the stairs though? That's a question. Difficult to know. It stopped and when it, Mog got it, in the water and swam yeah. up the the. And, um, and, and would it know how to get through the puzzle room? And you would it be able to breach not. a magic? Major lock door. It would be able. It would from the size she's describing it as. It would definitely be able to just smash the door down. Yeah, but it would take it some time. Um, it would take it some time, but Mog's not convinced it would take it long. <laughs> not especially a wooden door. Yeah. 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 Right. It came down this corridor previously. That's correct. It did. If we take, I mean, it it could have it could have gone up this corridor. It could. If we take up a reasonable defensive posture centrally, that start making the a... water. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which how deep? Doesn't... Yeah. How deep's the water? Uh, the water. It. Let me just double check that. So that's room twenty-six on a different. Thing. Can that's... we can we see the bottom of it? And is it? You can see the bottom of it. Yes. It looks like the water is about a meter deep. Well, so at best waist height then. Well, on the humans, yes. <laughs> right, can can Gora stand in this, or is, is she just going to be blowing bubbles? Uh, well, a meter's three foot three. I would say Gora's probably about oh, a little bit tall. Uh, your, your head will be above the water, but not much else. Yeah. Well, I have actually written um, Gora's height on the sheet. It's it, it's been there right from the get go. Well, what's your height? Three foot six. Three foot six. Right, so you will be <laughs> three inches. Above the so the top three inches of Gora will be visible. Yeah, your forehead, yeah. right? I'll I'll stay on the bank. Wise choice. So yes, you would have been blown blown bubbles unless you were on yeah. tiptoes. Yeah. 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 Are you, right. are, you, are you not wearing those platform shoes? <laughs> sandals. Your six inch uh, what's it glam uh, rock boots. <laughs> In silver, uh, right? If we if we take up a defensive position here mm-hmm. and start making noise to attract it, we'll get hopefully a couple of rounds of range on it before it gets into melee. Nice. Given the size, given the size of it and the length of its arms, mm-hmm. it can reach anybody in that pool. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah um, yes. Um, if it gets into the pool, no. Standing on the edge, it can pick anybody out of the pool. Yeah. So, if, given if, give, given given that it's capable of melee combat, yeah. Um, the rule mechanic. This is this is right. Meta, meta game as such is you can attack people that are one square distance, one from square you. away from you, unless you're using a polar weapon. Yeah. Right. So so there can be a, an empty square between you and it. Yeah. Given the it could stand, say, in that square there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's your empty square. Yeah. yeah. It can reach that square at the very least. Yeah. It it isn't a matter of keeping it out of melee forever. Mm-hmm. It's a matter of getting the maximum amount of <laughs> ranged damage on it as possible. <laughs> Honestly, okay. I what, thought you what, were going to say it's not a matter of keeping it out of melee entirely. It's just a matter of keeping it out of melee with me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> squishy mage. Thank yeah. you. Honestly, I don't. I don't I have. I don't have many concerns about it being in melee with Kellen. Right. D- Unless d- it d- has a skin opener. Right. <laughs> it, d- okay. So, so this wooden bridge over here. How sturdy does that look? From here, it's difficult to tell, but there is a green discoloration on the wood, which you would. There are two things that can cause that. Uh, one is pressure treating wood, which um, is a technology you don't have on Greyhawk yet. So the other would be rot or moss forming on it. So technically it's three. Rot or moss forming on it. Um, and it, it would be fairly easy for said iron giant, as it were, to actually just basically jump the gap. It, it's not going to impede it in any you way if we take the bridge know, out. You have and it no was idea over here. how jumpy it can get. 
Actually, yeah, right. but there's a thought. We could lure it onto it, and then if that lever is for the bridge, there's a chance that it could end up in the... It seems to be avoiding the water. Mm-hmm. It did seem to be, from what, yeah. what you saw. Could that be worth a shot? Could be. Does that bridge look like it retracts? Well, the only way to find out is if that yeah, actual lever does look, anything. Pull the lever. Yeah. 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 yeah, so... Who wants to go around? Hang on a second. From is... here, you can't tell whether the bridge retracts. It's a little bit far off. Is is this the edge of the the well structure? Yes. Right. So it's it, it's not just like the back of the back of the Iron Maiden in shadow. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> just standing it's, there facing the last it's um, assailant. Been, it's so. Yeah, it's been here all <laughs> along, just looking into the corner like a character yeah. from the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> And slow grinding metal noise as it turns its head. Another thing is, can one of us lure it towards the edge and someone else go behind it and push it in? Just be a matter of getting some skirmish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I would I I would reckon from the description of it that it's fairly sturdy. It does yeah. have large yeah. charge as one of its uh, special abilities, yes. The thing is, as well, if if we if we can um, get off some ranged combat at it, that means I can get ice grenades onto it and slow it down. It right. won't be able to get to us as quickly, and we'll be able to wail on it from a distance. Right. Okie doke. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I am a big fan of keeping as far away from it as possible. So you know, ranged works for me. Right, well, let's see. Um, Adrian and Gora can both do grenades. Uh, Mog can do pistols, aquabus, blunderbuss. It's going to get fucking loud in here very quickly, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> um, <coughs> time for the cheese um, in the ears. And, yeah. and Cullen, uh, you, 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 can, you throw axes now, yeah? Yeah, I don't think throwing an axe at a, 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 a metal <laughs> monster is really a kind of... Well, I'm going to hit it in the fleshy bits. Maybe, maybe nick it. I don't know. It's got virtually no fleshy bits except where the eyes. Go for the eyes, boo! Well, I'm I'm, I'm going to throw staring, agonised eyes that spooked Mog quite so much. I'm going to throw our last acid grenade at it, so its armour will be reduced by one, unless it's got some sort of mojo on it. Armor of nine thousand. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite that high, but it's high. Yeah. <laughs> on a on a scale of uh, Adrian to um, to Kellen armor wise, it's a lot closer to Kellen than anyone else. Yeah. Right. In fact, because um, Mog, you've seen it, so you would have an idea roughly. Um, Kellen, what's Kellen's armor rating? Currently a ten. Yeah, you would say bout on a par. Oof. So whatever you do, um, you know, aim and penetration and uh, uh, penetrating shots yeah, from a rogue. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, probably the way to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just going to double check that what I've said is correct, but I believe it to uh, be. Um, armor has joints. There, ha- there has to be weak points in it. Armor has yeah. joints. Yeah. <laughs> Animated well, Iron Maidens with a damned soul trapped inside and fused there by demonic magic. You're not yeah. so sure. <laughs> can I just have a quick stunt uh, rule check? Yes, you can. Yes. If I use uh, PS armor, but I also used something that gives me like two attacks, would the PS armor work on both or would that only work no, on one? No, just on the one that generated the stunt points. Okay, okay. Yeah, this, this this is one of the rule discussions we had yesterday. Is yeah. that it quite clearly states you can only generate, um, <coughs> use the stunt once in combat, and it's only for the first attack that actually it's, generate yeah, the stunts. Yeah, it's, really... it, it, it's very much a um, abilities, oh, however, yeah. abilities, however, can yeah. be used on every attack. Well, that like that the... was what led to the confusion yesterday because it was a combination of an ability and a stunt being used, and then there was the wording we had to, to check. Um, yeah. And we realised that actually it did say that um, that 
effect he was trying to use could be used on any enemy and we're like oh yeah in that case yes you can use it on the second guy but initially we thought not yeah mm. what if what if an attack is already armor piercing and you chose the armor piercing stunt um if attack if an attack is already reducing the enemy's armor by half and you get a stunt that would reduce the enemy's armor by half it would act as if there was no armor oh nice okay yeah. so um lightning mm -hmm. which pierces armor then stunts mm -hmm. no armor cool okay no but it's lightning not penetrating to start with that's what i'm saying that's what he's saying yeah that's yeah but i think what sean's pointing out is penetrating and armor piercing are two different things penetrating already ignores all armor armor piercing only reduces armor by half right got you yeah. okay it does get a touch confusing at that point, doesn't it? Yeah. So, anyway, I'm uh, going to push you for something to happen. Mm. <laughs> right, right. So, plan is Mog crawls over the, the ceiling, the wall, the, the whatever, <coughs> to the yeah. corner and pulls the lever. Okay. Okay, okay, I'll do that. I do like the Mean way you have volunteered the orc, yes. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile well, she's got the ability to scoot up and over the wall and, and back across mm -hmm. the top of the, the, without getting the feet wet. True, true, true. Right. Meanwhile, I'll go and stand over here, guarding this element of the bridge. Right, yes. Yeah. And Gora and Adrienne can position themselves ready to launch grenades, fire spells, whatever they want to do. Okay. Yeah. That, okay. that seems to be a reasonable so, tactic. Mm -hmm. Seems it to me. Gor I seem to have lost sight of everybody. Wait a minute, I'm going to change who's Gor is off hidden by the stairs, apparently. Ah. No, no, I'm, 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 really I'm, weird. I'm, I'm, I'm getting sorted. Right. Yeah. That, so, it's, it's because the light was gone, and I could sort of still see around the corner because I'd been there before. Yeah, but weirdly, I, I, I could Around the corner. Mm -hmm. so, so, so when Mog pulls the lever, what actually happens is the, the floor in this chamber disappears and the Kraken arises. <laughs> yes. It's so, completely unexpected happens. <laughs> Mark oh, strides into well, creeps into the room and then plants herself on the wall and climbs it uh, like some kind of orc spider up the wall across the ceiling and then down the far side lowering herself down the wall slowly. She looks round. You going to check for anything before you pull this lever? This one uh, sticks yeah, out the wall by the way. Yeah, I am going to check it for trap thought you might so go ahead and make a searching roll please perception uh, searching it's it's not it's is it not dexterity traps dexterity traps is to disarm them if you find ah, them. ah okay fair yeah. enough sorry okay 18 okay looks clear <laughs> no, however you do notice something that. actually oh. you do notice something it's just not where everybody might have initially thought you know, there's a series of holes in the ceiling about here, in this passageway. Oh, is that a grate? Uh, it's about average. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I mean, it's it. like a grate is going to slam down when I press this. Yes. Is it, is it a portcullis? It's a portcullis. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's the word, portcullis. Yes. Do you want to... is it, hang on, is it portcullis that covers this area? Uh, as far as Mog can see, the portcullis was would only block off the path, not the waterway. Ooh, okay. ooh, we, that's we, in we, our favour. We matter. drop that. We drop that on him. Ah, ooh, 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 okay. So how are we gonna? Right. Well, you wait till he's standing there and you pull a lever. <laughs> yeah, we are making a huge assumption here that he is down there and hasn't just like wandered up here because yeah. that's <laughs> embarrassing. Well, if hang on, hang on. All this noise, and he comes wandering down. Check, check, <laughs> check, the, check the ceiling over here. Is there also another portcullis? Okay, you're going to have to move to do that, so that will require another test, a separate test. It yeah. will be an easy test because you know what you're looking for this time, so yeah. it would only be... In fact, it would be a routine. It'll only be seven. Always confuses <laughs> me that routine... <laughs> yeah, your search, there's definitely not any sign of a portcullis there. Okay, okay, okay. So it's literally just to block off the passageway there. Oh. All right, we're going to take a chance then. Up to you. I'll, I'll, go out, I'll go out on a limb and say that... Wait, 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 wait. Right. So this Iron Maiden thing was pretty wide, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes. 
would it like scrape the sides of this wall if it was going up here? It would if it wasn't careful. I mean, the wall is a meter. Uh, the sorry, the passageway is a meter wide. So that's three foot yeah. three. That's quite a wide thing. However, okay. the Iron Maiden is wide enough because of its bulk that if it wasn't careful, it could scratch yeah. the the things. Can it? Any can it? Can it fit through this gap? Yeah. Could it fit through that gap? Yes, but it would definitely scrape there. Yeah. And are the scratch scrapes in the wall there at that yes. point? Already came, yes, there yeah, are. it already yeah. came through there when it, it already was yeah. made it made it through that gap. Yeah. So the only way it could go up here is if it sort of turned sideways and shuffled. No, it could move up there. Yeah. I mean if I'm just trying to see if there's any sort of signs yeah. that it has gone up here, because it would be really awkward if it I'll, came from the I'll, I'll go out, I'll go out on a limb <laughs> and I'll 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 say that it's probably defaulted back to its Spawn like point, base yeah. base position. Yeah. yeah. That that when it's not actively pursuing, <laughs> it it has a general location it stays in. Okay, okay. Do we want to take that risk then? Well, your other option is to scout that corridor. Or oh, what I what I strongly suggest you do first is pull that lever, make sure the portcullis works. <laughs> I mean, it's yes. going to be pretty noisy, and it'll attract his attention anyway. If it's up there. which is what we we're about to do, regardless. I know. Okay, I know. I'm just saying. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Right. I'll pull this lever. I just realised that you're back already. Huh? You, you were helping. Uh, it's literally just occurred to me that you were helping Kev with the shopping, and you seemed to return yeah, all I was almost doing before was... you left. All I was doing was scanning it. I did say I was back, and He's, I said he scanned in chat, faster than I do. Um, it takes it me ages long. to scan the shop. Plus, it was only a, it was only a quick a quick uh, shop. Just a quick right? Okay. Top okay. Top was, so you grab the lever with. and yeah. and pull down on it with all your might. Give me a strength might test. Remember, nobody's operated this lever in a couple hundred years, longer in fact, <laughs> hundreds of years. Can I intimidate it? Sadly, not. All right, it's just a strength <laughs> test then. No problem at all. Uh, you pull the, the lever down, and with a grinding sound, you can see the portcullis comes down from the um, down from the ceiling over that narrow entranceway a lot more slowly than you'd expected. Um, it, it's not going to take the thing by surprise. It's kind of grinding down an inch at a time. You get the feeling it's intended to move faster than this, but it's just coming down a little bit. It's probably down by about... A foot now, and it's continuing to move, and it's down a little bit more. There's, there's it another it. 50 centimeters. There's another 50 centimeters. There's another 50 centimeters. There's another 50 centimeters. Clunk. <laughs> okay, give it, give it a few flicks backwards and forwards to, to try and free up the mechanism. It, see was, if it, it was also faster. quite noisy, by the way. So if it's going yeah, to be fine. attracted by noise, it probably is being. Yeah. Does anybody see it trundling down the corridor? Haven't seen it yet. I'm, I'm keeping an eye out. Okay, okay. Red, gun, so gun, guns, 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 trained, guns trained this way. Okay. Right, what am I doing? Pushing it back a bit? Pushing it back? Um, yeah. yeah, just, um, just run oh. the mechanism a couple of times, see if it speeds up. Okay, you run the mechanism again. Give... One, one moment, one moment. I'm just going to check my inventory and make sure I've got no butter or anything because that would be really embarrassing, right? If I'm, if I've got like ye oldy mechanism grease. Ye <laughs> oldy mechanism grease. Wheel of cheese, no. No, I don't have any WD-40, right? No, we're good. I'll go back to that then. Rat poison won't work, will it? Um, no. No. Okay, so you throw the lever up again and the mechanism clunks and you can see the portcullis starts to rise. You're not sure if it's any faster than before. It's probably about the same speed and it's definitely less than it should be. But as it gets about halfway up, it starts to pick up speed a little bit so you think you are starting to free it. Okay, okay. Well, I'll give it another go then. Okie dokie. Just give me a second. You throw the lever once again and um, it descends again. It's definitely faster than before. It's still slow, but it's definitely faster. Okay, good. That sounds good. 
And there's this stomping noise and screaming coming down the corridor. Uh, I can me... see it. It's, it's here. It's here. I was going to say, give me a perception hearing test, but you're not going to have to because you've seen it. Yeah, I'll, I'll say fire. you can hear it at this point as well. It's um, it's thumping down, crunch, crunch, crunch. It's not moving terribly quickly either, and you've just said open fire. So uh, I'm not going to roll the creature's initiative on round one. We're going to blank off the, the thing. Uh, it will act last on round one, then we'll roll initiative for it after okay. that. So, remove all current. Clear. Okay, go ahead and uh, roll your initiative, remembering to have your um, character under your mm -hmm. cursor when you do it. It'll put it straight in the turn order for us. Oh my god, this thing's going to be right next to me when I have to drop this bridge on it. When it's I have to drop this whole colour on it. Oh it no. really is, yeah. <laughs> what is my character sheet doing? Hang on. It's it's doing a thing. No, oh, I'm so slow. Ah! What the heck? By which do you mean you're lagging or do you just mean your initiative's poor? My initiative. Poor, right, okay. Stop! Because I know Stop. I've got the uh, feature on for... Um, uh, Explorer, which sometimes causes lag, so I just thought I'd best check. What What are you wanting to stop, Louise? Oh, my character sheet was doing a really weird thing where it it's... just kept getting bigger and smaller. Oh, uh, right, yeah. it's it's the, the 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 drag part of the, it has yeah, basically become locked. Cursor, I'm yeah. I'm pretty certain that Adrian had the initiative focus. Did it? Yes, it did. I can't remember. I thought she did. Yeah, yeah I thought she it, did. And that, that that would be under decks, yeah. Yeah. Be on the decks. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not present. Yeah, okay. I have noticed that I've got to keep a paper copy of my uh, character sheet sometimes because uh -huh. every now and then something will just get eaten for no reason. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, one I'll... way to tell is there an empty two appearing, just like uh, floating around under a dexterity. No, because no, usually not. if you put a uh, focus in and then remove it, you still get the. Plus two we've got we've got one under perception with ignore this line written on it. <laughs> right, we yeah. added that because we changed something. Mm. Um, or is, the... it, is it is it um, uh, Nell's other character that has the initiative? Nell's other character definitely has, but I don't uh, know whether Adrienne has as well. Because I'm I'm so def I would say it, it's it's. I think she did, but yeah. Okay, we've got three. Am I remembering it wrong? I can I can check a, a previous game. Yeah, we've got three people who think she did. So for this game to get us moving, we'll say yeah. she does. We'll mm -hmm. check the details on the previous games before playing next week, and if she doesn't, we'll take it back off. Right. And just say that fate was on her side and made her move a bit faster. Fate or fear, one or the other. <laughs> Uh, look well, at the size it, of that thing. It, it must be said from on the road, it's not present. Right. Right, okay. We could oh. be wrong. Okay. Yeah, it, it's quite possibly the other character. Okay, yeah. well, r run with that then. Go without. Yeah. Mm. His name escapes me at this point. So give us her initiative and then we can crack on. Tamara. Tamara, yeah. yeah. Tamara Greyhawk is our other character. Yeah, yeah they named a the whole world up. After her. Amazing. <laughs> She's a foundling, named after where she was found. Indeed, so. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that doesn't appear to have gone in, so I'm going to have to add her manually. Add I do have her selected. Yeah, that that sometimes happens with you. It must hate you. Oh, she, she 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 went into the order, but right. only on zero. Uh, ah, yeah. right. Okay. Oh no, that's because I added her manually. No, I know what I've done wrong. I think I've clicked that. I've clicked dexterity rather than the initiative box. Right, yes, yeah. that'll, that'll be it. That'll be it. My fault. That's all right. No worries. It happens to everyone. Okay, so uh, round one, and it is Kellen to go. Um, hmm. Kellen's going to hold his action at this point. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... So that should be oh shit right okay sorry I just that's fucked this up. I've just it's a while since I've done this little bit and I had so it's turn and then it's round calculation plus one and we add it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you're holding your action. Um, 
So next up, we've got Mog. What would you like uh, to do? Uh, I don't know, because I would lose that aim. Right, now I'm also going to hold my action. Okie dokie. What position is the port colours currently in? It's up. up. It's up. Right, you are. Adrienne to go, what would you like to do? Um, we need Seer, which is a free action for five magic. Right, yeah. <clears throat> so she starts concentrating on seeing how this is going to pan out. She starts to get visions of a, a bloody and terrifying battle um, in which there's lots of punching and shouting and screaming and gunfire and it's loud and raucous and horrific. Uh, but she does begin to learn certain things about how it will pan out that she can use against the enemy in future. And then what's she going to do? Yeah, because that was a free action, so she's still got to... Yeah, just going to minus off the five magic. Five. Uh, yeah, so name a particularly particular ability and focus. That would be um, uh, Intelligence Fate Arcana. Ah, nice one. Okay, Intelligence yep. Fate Arcana. Okay. So she will gain that bonus any time she tries to use the Intelligence Fate Arcana during mm -hmm. this next uh, ruckus. What yeah. would you like to do with her main action? action? Hands of Fate. Hands of Fate. Go ahead and try. That's an easy pass with six points in the Hands of Fate pool. She calls out upon Fate to aid her in the onrushing battle. Fate answers as it often does and smiles upon her. Minor action? Mm. Stand firm. Stand firm, mm -hmm. right you are. And th it would be Gora to go next. Yep. Just uh, looking at the, the range of an aquabus. Because uh, we're at 12 metres. I would imagine it's longer than that, but you'd best check. Mm. I can check if you need. Uh, if, if, if you can check as well, um, while, while I'm while I'm if we're both looking for it at the same time, that'd be great. Okay, missile ranges, aquabus, twelve meters to twenty-four meters. Yeah, you, you're way ahead of me. Yeah, so twelve meters is in the effective range. Twenty-four meters is the long range. So you okay. don't suffer a penalty to hit at this range. If it okay, had been one meter further away, you'd have suffered a penalty to hit. But no. Good to know. And it's within your dark vision's visual acuity, so you can see it. Mm -hmm. So we'll just go ahead and shoot. Taking aim. Okay, plus one to hit. And 13, I think that's probably a hit. These things are not great at getting out of the way. Uh, okay, so there's a thunderous report as the aquabus goes off. Boom! Could everybody give me a hearing test at... Um, let me just take a look. At uh, 13, please. Sorry, at sorry at 9, please. And ideally, you want to fail this. Oh. Oh. Well, I know deaf. Uh, if, you, <laughs> if you pass the roll, you have suffered some hearing damage from the percussion of the aquabus. You take one point of penetrating damage. Ow. Fuck. Oh dear, my oh. magic armor. Uh, <laughs> yes, actually, your magic armor will protect you from, from <laughs> even that. <laughs> the sound Stumps, of the aquabus. Stumps left the entire game completely inert, nothing affecting him. <laughs> the the um, report of the, the aquabus echoes even more than when you fired it underground in the past. Something about the acoustics of this place. Of course, it it's, it's, it's like a bathroom, basically. Yes, exactly. Water, water in a tub. Water in a tub plus confined space. It's, it's bouncing the sound waves around here, something chronic. And yes. it's Mog. You can actually you can feel blood trickling down one of your ears. Shit. <laughs> <Right>. However, <laughs> that was a hit. So go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, look at the roll I did for my perception. Just, just look at it. Oh dear. <laughs> I, 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 I could have done that at any other time. Yeah. Well, you could have used hands of fate to reduce that damage, but 
Um, uh, you know. Quick query. Yeah. Yeah. It? No. Uh, cause yeah, because it's to, to, to fail a roll. Oh, to, right? yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Surely, surely you could deduct an amount using yeah, I hands. Don't, I don't see why not. Okay, Louise, you were trying well. to say. Quick query. Right? Obviously, that will give me that one point that I lost of penetrating damage there. Yeah. Can I sort of stuff the Cloak of Shadows into my ears a little bit <laughs> to protect them? <laughs> Uh, future rounds yes. I will clean it before I loan it to anybody else <laughs> you can yes you're going to look a bit odd with a cloak dangling out your ears but yeah go ahead I'm uh, used to looking odd <laughs> fair enough it's, it's, it's like, you're going to wipe your nose on the sleeves as well or <laughs> could I get that damage for the uh, Iron Maiden then please certainly yes I've, I've started looking up Hands of Fate and if, if it could be used to help somebody fail a test yeah that was a sentence I didn't think I'd be saying. 14 damage. So four of it gets ignored. Uh, sorry, ten of it gets ignored. Four Jesus. of it gets through. Yeah, so th there's like a rattling sound as this thing uh, hits, as the various bits of shrapnel hit the creature. Um, it really doesn't seem to make much difference. No. You can't tell if you've damaged it at all. I mean, you have slightly, but, uh, but that mm -hmm. would be meta game and technically. You, you, you've you you've scratched its chrome, please. Mm -hmm. Scratched its chrome. Uh, that's the end of turn one, unless anybody that didn't go wants to use their held action. Nope. Turn zero, I should say. Right. Um, it's too far away for. Let me just check. Da, 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 da. Uh, mm, eight yards. Right. Uh, can I? Yeah. Peeping round the corner. Mm -hmm. Throw an axe at it. Yes. Um, let me just check the distance. So from there to there. It's that distance yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. If it was if it was peeping out around the corner, it'd be round about the eight, which is the, yeah. the maximum range. Right. So you're right? minus one to hit. Yeah. However, I want to do a stunt attack. Okay. With the idea to basically hit it in the leg and potentially call it cause it to fall into the water. Um, you can, is that possible? You can try. But judging by the size of this thing, you will imagine it's going to be hard to skirmish. In game terms, it has the large and in charge special ability, which means it's difficult to skirmish. It's not impossible, though. Right. Yeah. That's 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 the only thing that I, w I would attempt at this point. Okay, give it a go. Give it a go. I mean, to be honest, it's well. more likely to. Uh, more likely to have an effect of chucking the axe at it for damage at this point. Do you think? Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think that. Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, throwing an axe at it might be a possibility. <coughs> I'll, I'll. I'll. I'll do it anyway. Okay. So, you, I just for clarity, are you thrown for damage or are you thrown for a stunt attack? I'm just going to throw for damage. Throw for damage. Right. You are. Go ahead. Thirteen. <laughs> 13, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll the damage. And I need to roll a 5 or a 6 on the... No, it's not going to have any effect. Uh, right it's just going to clang off it. There's something and a, and a... occurred. What's happened here? Oh, I seem to have changed what the layer I was on. Okay, so you throw the axe and it just bounces off the, the thing's armour. It just shrugs it off. Doesn't Into the care. water, Into yeah. The water. Doesn't doesn't really doesn't really care, right? Splash. So for my minor action, I will uh, uh, get the sword ready. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll ready my sword. Okay, you draw your yep. sword and get behind your shield, ready for what you suspect is going to be one of the more challenging battles you've faced lately. Um, so yeah. it is the next round, and it's actually you to go again. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's quite a. I will hold my action. Okay, again. you will hold your action. Mog, you to go. What do you like to do? Same. Same. Hold your action. Adrian, yeah. uh, just just a just a thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, <coughs> do we have to specify a trigger? No. No. If you okay. hold your action, it's not like in D and D where you've got to specify what the action's going to be and what the trigger is. 
if you hold your action, you just get to act later in the uh, the round. The round right. You can do what you like and uh, whenever you like after after that. Okay. Yep. So Fair Adrian enough. to go. Puppets. Puppets of fate next. Right. Go ahead and call upon the fates a second time, and once again the fates appear to have answered. Although you feel they were a little sluggish off the off the the mark this time, and they've only given you one point in the puppets pool. Mm. You know, you know when you ring your mate and you run for hours, and you can tell that like they're starting to get distracted towards the end, so you let them go, <laughs> and then you immediately what? have to ring them back because you forgot to ask the first thing you wanted to ask, <laughs> and you can tell to pick the phone up, and you can hear that like, "What do you want this time?" in the voice, even though they don't see it. That's a sensation uh, Adrian got with the fates <laughs> on the second call. There. <laughs> however, however, what does Seer actually do? Because Fate Arcana was listed as being the... Uh, that is correct. Uh, gives uh, them plus two to the pass roll. No, oh. that, that's Fortel. That's Fortel, right. Okay, go ahead. What does Seer do? Uh, um, Seer at the journeyman level, which is, which is what I cast. Um, oh. re read the signs, gain insight. Uh, for the rest of the encounter, you can re-roll tests of that type for two magic points. All right, so you could re-roll the test if you wanted to. You could burn two magic points and re-roll that. Yeah. It's it's worth doing to gain more in the fate pool. Um, that, and that would disregard the stunt at that point as well. Yeah, you would take the new roll, so it yeah. would be whatever in, was in its on entirety. the stunt roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because currently you have one point in the stunt pool and you've got yeah. one yeah, it's, of fate it's, point. It's, it's if you re-roll, you will not get the one point of stunts unless you roll the stunt again. Uh, but you would get whatever was on the, the yeah. stunt dice as your... So you, it yes. might be worth it, it might not. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so I'll I'll minus off the, the six for puppets in the first place. Right, yeah. And I'll minus off two... To re-roll that test. To re-roll it. Go ahead. This is where you fail on the second roll. Just watch. I really hope not. <laughs> I Yikes. should really keep my mouth the fuck shut. Right. right. However, Sorry. however, <laughs> does, does it does does it say you re-roll, but you have to keep the second result? However, you must take the result of the second roll and cannot re-roll any one ah. test more than once. You can only push fate so far. Okay. Which, right. which is exactly what uh, Brian's been hinting at all these weeks. <laughs> there you go. I that knew well. this would happen sooner or later. Um, I, and, and I would say as well, it's probably not worth spending a hands point at no. this to get point, that back. Possibly not, no. no. Okay. It, it, it's, it's only one puppet's point. So this time you, in, you invoke fate and they just hang up on you. <laughs> <laughs> much. Honestly, mate, I've got to go. Uh, I've got an appointment and hang up. <laughs> Okay. No, yeah. Stop answering. <laughs> Numbers blocked. <laughs> oh. Okay, so Adrian's major action is done. Does she have a minor action? Have, have a cry. Have a uh, cry, right? You are. Stand firm. <laughs> okay, so it's the Iron Maiden, and I'll just check what its full speed is. So it is going to. Well, I need to know exactly who and what it can see, because if it can't see. Mog, then there's no point in charging Mog. It can't. It can see Kellen, so uh, can you charge around the corner? Hmm, probably not. So let's just advance normally for a minor action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right at the point at the point where it gets to yeah, the. I want to drop the thing on it when it gets to underneath the. Thing. When before, it gets well, to there, right you are. Well, you... before it actually gets yeah. to there. So. <laughs> yeah. the there. There is a bit of a timing issue here. Yeah. So, what will happen is, Mog, you will match your dexterity initiative roll against its dexterity initiative roll. So go ahead and make a dexterity initiative test and it will... Uh, you've got 10 to beat. If you beat okay. it, you hit it with the descendant. I beat it. Okay. You throw the lever again, and this time it does come down a bit faster and clonks the creature on the head. 2d6 damage. Yeah. Oh, ah, no. it. What? What are, what are we stopping? What? <laughs> Just take it. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Yeah. Hang on. No, sorry. I'm, I, I, I'm pressing, pressing the wrong button. Sorry. Ah, right, okay. 2d6 plus anything? Hang on. It's, 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 it's dex is lower than mine. Yeah. 
Yes, but it's not technically you that's hitting it, so no, I'm not giving enough. you the idea. Oh, come on! It's, it just bounces off the thing's head and just stops. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, at this point, it has now spotted you. Um, Hi. Also notices Kellen. Um, I'm a little bit torn about which of you to tear. Um, so, <laughs> I think it'll probably give you a bit of a thump and then concentrate on that after afterwards. I just need to check its special abilities. Um, da -da -da, what's this one? Eternal Torment. Uh, what? Okay, right, okay, that's not going to... That's not going to matter too much. So it's just going to give Thog, uh, Mog a bit of a punch uh, and then turn its attention to Kellen after that, I think. So thumps you for the 14. Is that a hit? Yeah, that's a hit. And with three points, it's going to spend its three points of stunts on... Well, it's definitely going to want to skirmish you. Yep. You'll be pleased to hear. Um, I think it probably would. Knock you prone. So what it does... Oh. It, Punches you with such force that you go straight over the um, the rail and into the water. Sploosh! You thump down uh, heavily into the water, descending because it's only a little bit. Um, no, I'm putting you where that, that, that's where you're going. <laughs> uh, glug, 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 glug. <laughs> and let's roll the damage as well. Oh, and you're also prone. So, minor drowning risk, um, seeing as you're underwater. It's hit you with such force that you've like toppled over the rail and damaged the rail and a bit on the way past. Hit the, the water, gone straight down to the bottom and jarred you back on the bottom as well. So, Ow. the standard damage, first of all, for its unarmed <laughs> attack, is 16 points of damage. Oh, I don't like this thing. And there's a 1d3... Uh, backslash roll 1d3 for the jar in your back. So that's one point of damage more. But I think Does your armor will cover that. Yes, yes. Your, ar your yeah. armor counts against both of those attacks. Yep. So the 3 will just get ignored. The 16, reduce that by whatever your armor was is. Rather. That's the Iron Maiden having gone. So, Gora, what would you like to do? Does the portcullis continue to descend? It's trying to, yes. <laughs> so, Iron Maiden in the way. Oh yeah, but will the Iron Maiden continue to take damage in subsequent turns? Is it now pinned? Oh, it's not pinned. No, um, it's not pinned. It, well, it might right. be pinned if it fails the strength might test when it tries to move through. Um, Marvelous. So it's a possibility. Jolt. Jolt. Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> and. Total is 11, target number is 11. Okay, you shoot out a blast of electrical energy towards the uh, the creature, which slams into it. You can see the electricity sparking across the the Iron Maiden exterior and into the ground. Um, go ahead and roll it. Oh, you don't roll no, damage. Two, 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 pen two penetrating damage, and you need a con stamina test versus my spell power. What's your spell power? 14. I... Okay. Constitution yeah. Stamina. 19. Shrugs it off. Largely because it's kind of an animated... It's it's a bizarre kind of combination creature. So the Iron Maiden around oh, the yeah. target almost acts as a Faraday cage so that the, uh, <sighs> the propelling spirit just doesn't really... Could have, could have done with, with that one Puppets of Fate point there. Uh, yeah, you could have done it. Although with its roll, it might still have. Uh, it's got quite high on constitution stamina. Okay. It, would need a will, it would need a willpower test to pass. Yes, but on, on a, yeah, it would need yeah. a willpower test, and to if it failed, it would make this re-roll, so it would still stand a good chance. Yeah, point. true. So okay. in this round, my go is to advance across the wooden bridge. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right, and I'm going to attack her. Okay, so you're advancing across the rickety wooden bridge. Give me a, a strength might test, please, and try not to roll too much. A strength might test? Yeah, it gives you a general idea of how much mass you uh, you have. Right, so you're saying the bridge is not safe? 
it's probably safe. You're quite heavy. But uh, you will only go through it if you roll um, 19 or better. So don't roll 19 or better. <laughs> you didn't. Right. Okay, so you thunder across the bridge and take up your position to try and stop this creature getting any further in. Would you like to make an attack as well? Yeah. Go for it. 14, that's a hit, and with two stun points. Right, so that's going to be an extra dice of damage. Okay. 17, so uh, you're going to get a decent whack on this creature. Um, even through the metal armor, you bring your weapon down with such force, you can see it sort of staggers slightly under the massive impact uh, of your attack. There we go. You might notice it's green circles. That are less, slightly less vivid green than it was a moment ago. Okay. Uh, that's the end of the turn. So it's the next round and it's Kellen to go. <laughs> mm. So it's... Uh, uh, hang on. Yeah. Did, did I go that turn? Yeah. Yeah. Did you? I jolted it. I jolted. You jolted. And then you, 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 you had a held action, didn't you? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah his was right, held carry action. on. Yeah. So it's uh, another attack. Yeah, go for it. 16 is another hit. And then this is the damage. 11 points of damage. You thump it heavily, and again, it kind of uh, it reacts to the blow as if it's been injured. Not badly injured, but definitely injured. Um Okay, Mog, you to go. What would you like to do? Hang oh, on, try hang not on, to... hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. I'm oh. going to... Uh, 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 what's it? Stand firm at this point. Stand firm. Right, you are. Okay, Mog, um, there is a slight risk you will have inhaled a lot of water when you were thrown over the side by being punched in the, the chest. So make a constitution stamina test to avoid inhaling water. The target number for That's which will be 13. Yeah, I passed. You're passed. Okay. So you can either swim to the surface or stand up. It's up to you. No, I'd like to stand up. Okay. Would, would, would you not just bop to the, bob to the surface? Bob to the surface. <laughs> <laughs> That it's, didn't take like a minor action or anything, did it? No, uh, no it takes half of your movement from a minor action. This is all to stand up. Okay, but uh, can I still use aim if I used the... Um... No, yeah. you couldn't. Not if you stood up. So you would have to... Sh okay. If you want to, you can do what Sean suggested and just bob to the surface. Okay, I'll do that. And fire. Um, so I'll put the prone back on you. Okay. Um, so you bob to the surface, level and fire your... It's a pistol. It's, it's been a in pistol, the water. It's been in the water. Uh, and unlike uh, modern guns, it's not like yeah, you can be able no, to fire. Yeah. The powder will be damp. The powder will ah, be damp. Yeah. That, then, Mark, Mark, completely. Mark, hold action, yeah. and uh, you can have one of mine, which are all dry. Yeah, your yeah, pistols are dry. Yeah, but in the water. Yeah, but he can pass one to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean... Okay. Well, in that case, I will stand up and I'll hold the rest of my action. Okay, oh, you're going to stand up. I'll take the uh, yeah. prone marker back off again, then shall I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Adrian, to go next. What would you like to do? <coughs> Let's try and get off this puppet. Okay. Once again, she calls her mate in the Department of Fate. <laughs> mate in the Department of Fate? Fate's rates. Fate's rates. <laughs> uh... Who answers this time? Sorry about More before I was on the toilet. What, what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> that's four points in the puppets of fate. No, that's three. That's three there, points in the puppets of one. fate. That's not. That's right. That's not. Right. Okay, so fate once again answers your call and you can feel the magical energy building up around you. Minor action at all? Stand firm. Stand firm. Uh, at this point, by the way, the bloodhound marking, if anybody's interested, started moving. No. Oh, it. it's getting closer. <laughs> ah, okay. That's what we need. Right, so does the Iron Maiden need to make a test for the great? Uh, yes, the Iron Maiden to go next. So first of all, let's see if it get. Uh, well, it can't get out from under the great right now because you're in its way. 
So that let's was the plan. let's do mm -hmm. a punchy punch first and see what happens. Um, so it takes a swing for oh fucking hell, puppets <laughs> twenty one thump. Right, you're going to try a puppets of fate. Yep. So let's give it a willpower test. Twelve is it the beat? Oh no. 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 What is oh, it no. the beat? Sixteen. Sixteen the beat. Fifteen. Ah, oh, so close. I, 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 could it? Could um, it borrow have, one of your? Have we got? Have we got the plus two factored in there from the staff? Oh, that would be eighteen then. If it's yeah. If it's uh, staff, well, let's just figure, let's just figure this out. What's her willpower? Uh, willpower is four. Right. So that would be fourteen. Does she have the, the focus? focus? Yes. So that's sixteen normally. So eighteen is the target. Yes. While she's holding the staff, which she yes, is, she, because she is. she's the one emanating all the, uh, the light That's which right. is coming from the staff. Always. So, it's targeted 18, so the thing's failed. So, if you could lend it 15, 16, 16, 16 three points from your fate pool, how do you feel? About <laughs> no? Question, okay. question on the Bloodhound mark. Yes. Um, is, it, it, is the mark still to the west? Yes, it is. Is it still below us? No. Uh yes, sorry, yes it is. Wait a minute. Where are we? No, it's not below you. It's not below you. Okay, the no. thing swings again. Twelve this, this time. Uh I think that's gonna be a miss against Kellen. Yep. Okay, got it to go. Right, let me just minus off one from puppets there. And the, and the grate doesn't actually have any sort of weight to it that's gonna be not enough to damage it damage. while it's just trying to push it down. No, it might it might cause it to get stuck. Once it's got a, uh, a, once it attempts to get out, it can, it'll have to make a strength and might test against the grit. But at the moment, it can't get out unless it goes backwards because you're blocking the exit. Um, jolt, jolt again. Yeah, go ahead. Might just start taking off the, the magic points before I cast. Yeah. Okay, so you fire off another jolt towards the creature. The electrical mm -hmm. energy hits it. Once yep. again, it is jolted. It takes two points of penetrating damage, and it'll need mm -hmm. a saving throw. So let me just take the two. And it's a constitution saving throw. The one it's best at. So constitution stamina. 19, that's an easy pass for it. Um, right, Is it because it's so good at it, is it worth using puppets on that save? Well, it's, it's got a five, so it would need to roll a nine on three dice. Mm. Average is 11, so it's probably going to pass. Yeah. Right. Um, even though Jolt's doing damage to it, it it's, is. Probably, it's not worth doing on an ongoing basis because it's only taking it down two points at a time. It's forcing yeah, a test uh, on it. But it might it fail a test, though, yeah. at some point. Just trying to get it so that it can't hit you, basically. But yeah, well, it's oh. also got the stamina focus, so it start. It can't possibly yeah. roll less than ten. Its target number is not that high, mm. so yeah. the chances are it's going to pass. Yeah, it's on, it's... A, on average, it's going to pass more often than it's going to fail. If that adjusts yeah. your decision, it only okay. needs to, it only needs to roll effectively seven on three dice. Yeah, which is is mm. very low odds. Mm. Or high odds, I should say, or low odds of right. failing. Yeah. In in which case, we'll uh, we'll we'll, t we'll take a different approach. Okay. Um, so you're not going to force the reroll. Not on this occasion. Okay. Uh, I need to quickly check my other spells just to, so I can change tack. Well, I'll I'll move on then because you've cast the spell for the. Uh... Uh, yeah, but I've I've got um, a minor action and a, um, a free movement action from these sandals. Okay, right. Yeah, go ahead. What, what I wanted to, what I wanted to check was if the spell I wanted to cast was major or was minor. Major or minor action. Okay, it's, go ahead. It's it's minor, therefore. Yeah, I'm I'm, go. I'm, uh, I'm I'm going to hold off for now. And yes, indeed, oh, you can do that. Hold off. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that was Gora's goal. So it is the next turn. Uh, hang on, hang on. Did Gora chuck me that weapon? Oh, yeah. Minor action. Minor action. Minor yes, action. There, there, okay. there you go. Okay, um, thank you. 
um, well, if you, you can to... hit somebody would... when you're a square distance, you can definitely pass them a weapon when you're a square yeah. distance. Would yeah. Would cool. you want a pistol or would you want the blunderbuss? The uh, blunderbuss just... is unloaded. Just, just send no, me. No, that the... was the aquabus. All right. Okay. Just, just send me the pistol because it's easier to roll because I've got that on my sheet already. <laughs> Seriously? Okay. Okay, so he hands you, she hands you a pistol which you reach out and grab. So that's a minor yep. action to grab the pistol. Oh, oh. Uh, you stood up, that's a minor action, so you don't get any further oh, actions this no, round. That's fine, that's fine. So it is Kellen to go again. So bookkeeping wise, it counts as my minor action and the receiving person's minor action. Yeah, she's got to take it off and cock it, unless you were handing it to her cocked. Well, that's a bit dangerous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like giving it to Why a does that ever stop you? Handle first, though. Yeah. <laughs> Here's right, the pistol. Okay. Thank you. Bang! Oh shit! <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna swing again. Okay, at this go thing. for it. Yeah. Sixteen, three points of stunts. You, you're finding it really easy to hit because it just doesn't have the dexterity to get out of the way at all. Right. Okay. So, mm, uh, we're going for a. Penetrating strike. Yep. Pierce armor. Sorry, I should say pierce, pierce armor. armor which, yeah. Which Half is two armor. Yeah. Two points. Yeah. Yeah. So its armor comes down to five. Then you've done ten points of damage. That's actually quite a serious injury to it. Then. Yeah. You slam it this time. You can see there's there's bits broken off um, or, or dented. There's parts where the metal's starting to tear. Kellen's, he's getting tired from doing it, but he's wailing on this thing, and it's definitely having an effect. Right. For that one remaining point. Mm <laughs> Can't do any of those, any of that, any of this. Right, okay. Um, <sighs> what the decision to make? Uh, I will skirmish myself back across the bridge for that one point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do I need to make another test to cross the bridge? Um, yes, you do. So if you score 19 or more, then you've... Uh, yeah, well, then the thing has happened. Gone in the water, right, okay. There you go. No. So 17 for the strength. And then I'll stand firm in that position as my minor action. Okay, you're going to stand firm in that position as your minor action. And up next is Mog of the Bright Eye Clan. Right. I would like to use my uh, giant miniature space ha ha hamster powers and aim for its eyes, if that's possible. You can give it a try, yes. Okay, so you fire a thunderous shot. It definitely hits the creature in the face, mm -hmm. uh, whether it hits it in the eyes or not doesn't appear to have yeah. done that. Well, just sort of that general sort of fleshy bit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've hit it in the face. Go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, it's dexterity is lower than mine, yeah? It's dexterity is bound to be lower than yours, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> it's bloody an extra awful. <laughs> yeah, it's an extra dice of damage. Oh. Its weak point is it's piss poor dexterity. Yeah. I mean, it's half a ton of metal. It's just like... <laughs> Okay, so 11 points of damage. It uh, staggers a this, bit. This pistol only do a D6, does it? Yeah. Yeah, they're not massively damaging. Um, so that's uh, one point there. So again, there's this thunderous crack which echoes around the place. I'm not going to ask for anybody to take uh, here and loss again this time, though. Um, you're already Your ears are still ringing from the last time. Okay, Adrian. The, the the blood has kicked nicely. With the, with the damaging sound. It's, it's an earplug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 
so it's Adrian to go next. This is this is sort of like a healthier colour. You could hit it with a shadow dagger in there. Do you know? You uh, do you know? To. I was I was just pondering the same thing. It, yeah, it's she amazing. Done a shadow dagger for ages. It, it is amazing how, how often we're on the same wavelength with that. I was I was considering chosen a fate, and I thought it shadow daggers penetrating. It is. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, she blasts Shadow Dagger off towards the creature and streaks across the pond and hits it thunk, straight through the armour, hitting the tormented butler uh, trapped inside. He shrieks in agony. Ah! You think you don't think it's agony from the wound, though? You think it's agony from the torment? Also, mm. you've got two stunt points. What would you like to do? Bank them. Sorry? Well, to, to bank them, to, 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 uh, to use Fortel... To keep one stunt point. Fortel, yes, of course. Forgotten. Yeah. So okay. I, I will, do, I, do I need? Do I need to name who gets that? And and for what purpose? I'm um, not quite sure. Give it. A, give it a read. Right. Let's see. Uh, your actions trigger a chain of events that will affect future outcomes. You may select an ally, including yourself, once before the end of the encounter. When they generate stunt points, they gain plus one stunt right. point for every so, two. That I think we've on asked stunt. this once before, but I can't remember the answer. When yep. it says you may select an ally, is there a full stop at that point? Or no. does once before, is that the same right. sentence? Ah, you, you may select an ally, brackets, including yourself, yeah. full stop. Right, yes. Okay, so you have to select them now, then. Because yep, the that's, once that's before fine. the end of the turn is a separate sentence, is a different clause. Yep. Uh, I'll select Kellen. Okay, Kellen, mm -hmm. once before the end, you get to use that stunt point. Um, but that... only if I generate stunts, though. Yes. Yes. So uh, that was Adrian's major action. I'm never sure with uh, some of those spells. Yes, uh, Sh Shadow, Shadow Dug is a major. It just needs the damage. It just needs the damage, of course. We haven't done the damage yet. Go ahead and roll. Which is here. Seven maximum, points of damage. Maximum damage. Nice one. Minus seven, so it's actually looking quite badly damaged now. Mm -hmm. Good. Notice it's all just turned yellow and everything. Mm. Um, okay, so does she have a minor action she'd like to uh, to pull? Stand firm. To borrow um, a term uh, from Saint Marisha, uh, Adrienne's been clutch at this battle, is she not? Clutch. <laughs> yeah. It's an Overwatch term as well. Is it? Is that where she nicked it from? Right. Okay. Po po well, possibly. I mean, it's it used in general gaming circles. I'm this, not, this not sure is, of the origin. This is like that time that uh, um, I I believed Saint Marisha when she said sleeves are bullshit, and I went out to work on the fence with a t-shirt on, came back in, sunburned to hell <laughs> from fist. <laughs> Strange how that happens, isn't it? <laughs> it? It was strange. It didn't appear to be that sunny, but I should know better. Um, What's a when, goth doing outside without sleeves? <laughs> I hate when, sleeves. When you, when you say saints, do you mean devil woman? <laughs> Possibly. Uh, I hate sleeves. If I'm wearing a shirt, one of the first things, unless I'm in a suit. If oh, I'm yeah. wearing a suit, it doesn't bother us. But if I'm casually dressed, the first thing I always do is roll my sleeves up or push them out of the way. I just... I, I hate having my arms covered, um, except in formal circumstances where it literally never crosses my mind that my arms are covered. It's quite odd. But anyway, um, let's have a look now. So that was Adrienne. So it is the Iron Maiden to go. Um, at this point, it is considering running to the hills. But instead, it will push in and let's see if it goes thumping through the... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. It needs a... Uh, strength might test to get out from under the, the portcullis. So the portcullis is quite heavy. Um, so it is going to be a challenging task for it to get out from under it. So the target number is 13. It's got to beat that with a strength might test. Shouldn't have a problem, really. It didn't. <laughs> Not only um, does it get it, out from under the portcullis, but it's. Is it? Mm -hmm. is, it is it worth puppeting? With a six, six, and it's going to make a thirteen. It's got an eight, effectively, yeah, so it only need to roll six, five on three dice. And it might focus a two, so it's you could try it, but its chances of succeeding yeah. the second time. Is physical, still really good. any any physical test that it makes, there's yeah. no point in puppeting it. 
unless right. it's absolutely vital as life or death. Yeah, and it agreed. probably still strike through anyway. Mm. So with the stunt points, it moves through, and just the portcullis comes with it. It just tears the the portcullis <laughs> out of the wall. There's brick dust. There's bits of brick thumped to the ground behind it's it. It's effectively wrecked the portcullis. It's wrecked the point. portcullis. The portcullis has actually uh, caught on some of the, uh, or what's left of the portcullis, has caught on some of the spikes extruding from the creature itself. So it's actually now wearing part of the portcullis that's come with it. And the other bits yeah. are twisted and snapped off. This is the quite new old. fashion. This is the new fashion it's for the autumn fashion. season. It is indeed, yeah. <laughs> Check your portcullis before you wreck your portcullis. Your, your portmanteau. It now needs another uh, willpower, t- uh, sorry, strength might test to avoid going through the bridge if it does it's still going to be able to reach Kellen, but it and, won't be happy about being in the water and in that case if it's if it's like basically wearing the port colors yeah it's going to be heavier than it otherwise would have been i'll add one to this roll yeah so 17 the bridge is holding okay but you can see it bending um, and is it hands of fate Ah, now this would be good because on this occasion it's uh, has puppets. high strength. Puppets works. is well, well worth well, using. Well, the, right, the question is, it's got to get to nineteen. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hands of Fate adds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, can you cast can, that on an enemy? Can you? Hands can of you Fate, push... I think it. I think it does specify allies actually. Okay. Yeah, let, have a it, look. Because if which it case, doesn't, puppets, puppets would be the one to use. Yeah. Because if it doesn't, this could be quite an interesting use for it. Yeah, uh, no, you use it to help your allies. Allies, right. So it would have well, to be a puppet's ah. face? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, it only increases. It, it, only, it, 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 only, it only manipulates the dice yeah. throw for your ally. Yes. Yes. Rules as no, no. intended above rules as written. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and make the uh, puppet spend if you want to. Yeah. Well, this is to manipulate fit to the discomfort of your enemy. This will be pretty uncomfortable for him. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Puppet. So he's got to he's got to make that uh, willpower test, test against, first. against eighteen. Yeah. He's failed that, so he'll have to re-roll his strength mic test, and if he gets high, which he probably will. Oh, he's still not gone through it. Even with a plus one. Even with a plus one, that still ah, takes it to eighteen. One shy. One yeah. shy. Ah. You can actually hear it cracking under it, but it hasn't gone down yet. Oh, in which case, hang on, mm-hmm. Kellen, just hold him there. Well, uh, yeah. That's not a bad idea. If you hold them there, you'll have to make that test every round. Yeah. It, it's it's part of the plan. I, 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 I don't know if you, you hadn't noticed that there was a reason why I held my action, then rushed forward and hit it twice yeah. and then retreated. Mm-hmm. So it's going to make a stunt Roaring attack and try and throw Kellen over into the, uh, into the water. Uh, mm. So let's see if it succeeds, first of all. Uh, 16 with four stun points. So yes, yeah, that's it has. a fail. Uh, it's a fail. Yeah. Fucking hell! <laughs> right. You can't. You can't. You can't shift uh, an 18 armor. You haven't hit me. Uh, 18 armor is it? Right. Yes. No, I can't. Yeah. No, I haven't hit you. Um, okay. So that's its major action. I haven't really got a minor action to do. Oh, wait a minute. Let's just look at his special abilities. Nope, no minor action. So he stomps his feet in frustration. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was going to say I was also standing firm, so you would still had to do a post well, strength. Needed test. to make a post strength test, but I mean his strength, as you've noticed, is very high. Um, yeah, but I could do it with a plus ten on my side. Yeah, next time we'll just try and beat your head in. So uh, go to go. <laughs> right. Have I noticed that that bridge is sort of. Bowing out un- underneath him. I would imagine. So, give me a um, give me a perception test. You can either use seeing or hearing. It's a routine test. Target number seven. If you get less than seven, you haven't noticed in the panic. If you get more, than you have. Yeah, it's bowing quite noticeably, and you can hear yeah. the wood straining as well. Do I think that um, a pistol shot will be enough to make it go? No. If I shoot at the bridge, not a pistol shot, no. How about a blunderbuss shot? Maybe, maybe. Setting it on fire might work. That's kind of in your purview, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I try not to um, not to revert, revert to type. You know, that's literally bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> 
right, right, right. Chris, you've got you've got a combat stunt on the thing called collateral damage. Yes. Fuck. Yes, you have. Right. You can make a stunt for, attack for easily broken items such as crates, mirrors, windows, and so on. It costs two SP. Yeah. Tougher items require a four. <coughs> And very tough objects would require six to destroy. It's not very Whereas... tough under, under, under current circumstances. So it would take four, so you would need to make a stunt attack, which would get you two stunt points. Um, right. Which wouldn't be enough, so you would be kind of gambling on generating another two stunt points. Mm. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, I've got something else in mind altogether. Scrub okay. all of that. Scrub right. all of that. Yeah. Here we go. I'll, should I tell you it first? Because it's a little bit odd. Is this a um, Laura Bailey and the Hag level odd? Is it? <laughs> I, I have. If, if that's the the thing with Jester and the the muffin, I, I have now watched that, and it, it was really quite wonderful, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you can. Uh, I don't know. Which would you prefer? Would you prefer to tell me first and then see if it works, or would you prefer to start making the dice rolls and then talk? Well, I need to make sure that I can I can actually get around. Is is there a okay. clear path for me to walk around, or does this block the um, does this block the walkway? That blocks the walkway completely. Yeah, that's that's a complete block on that side. Yes, yes. Well, that's yeah. a shame. That runs right, right into the ground. Yeah, right. Um, I suppose I'd, I'd have to swim effectively. Uh, yes, you would, because unfortunately, Adrian's blocking the other side, and I know I and normally Kellen. say you can move, and Kellen, I know I normally say you can move one character through another when it's meter squares, but as you can see, the walkway's only half that. So Well, I'll, yeah. tell, I'll tell you my plan, and then you can tell me if it's viable. Okay. okay. Minor uh, action to go across to get within range yep. of of the, um, the Iron Maiden. Yep. Drop, um... Suspend enchantment on him. Right, yeah, yeah. Win, lose, or draw, use my sandals to get back. Okay. So, uh, you'd have to get over the rail and cross the water, so yep. that would be a minor action. Yes, I can say uh, Yeah, I think this would be viable. Right. Not really the kind of thing you want to sort of get halfway through and then realise you can't. Yeah, it's it's the extra my, movement action that you've got, which yes. does it for you, I suppose. Yeah. Well, only bear, ones... bear in mind before you make this decision, and the people. Well, I'm not going to say that because it's a bit of a bit of a spoiler. I'm going to say something oh. about the people at home, but you will notice this yourself later. Bear in mind, mm -hmm. if you do this, yes, in order for the enchantment to remain suspended, you have to break the encounter, which means you. If you stayed drowned and did anything else with the Iron Maiden, yes. you'd still be in the same encounter. So, no, that's what you want, isn't it? Hold yeah. on. Let me work this out. You know, no, We'd have fine. to wail. We're wailing on it. That was what mm. we discussed earlier. Yes, that's right. All right. All right. Break it into bits. Yeah. No, that, that should be fine. Yeah, go ahead and try. Okay. So, Sorry, moving I confused here. myself a little bit there. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, so you clamber uh, clumsily over the rail because it's waist height on a human, so it's like neck height on Gora. So she clambers over the rail and drops into the water with a sploosh and then starts... Well, you're going to need a swim roll. What, what do you mean clumsily? I've, I've got dex... Oh, dexterity zero. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so sw is swimming under dexterity? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, dear. Was it strength? Ah. Uh, climbing is strength, swimming is dexterity, I think, but I will double check just to be sure. Yeah. So it's dexterity... one of those. Was it constitution? Oh, it's it's one of those that's physical. It's not dexterity. Uh, oh. It might be constitution then. Let's have a look. It's constitution. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Ah. So one. what's your constitution? One. One. Okay, so ten then. Because we've okay. already done the dice roll. So ten. Right. Uh, it's an uh, average uh, test. Oh, that would have needed mm -hmm. an eleven. Um, mm -hmm. So you get over and manage to like snort a bunch of water without <laughs> intending to. So you still get to where you're going, but you're going to take D6 uh, damage, which will ignore your armor as you snort this water in. So six points damage. God damn it. Fuck's sake. So uh, you made a slight error when you got like, went over. Bit. You breathed Glug. 
heavily in after your head went under the water. You meant to breathe in heavily before your head went under the water. But in the confusion, you've you've done what I once did on Holiday in Amble and very nearly drowned yourself with jumping into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I was a child at the time, to be fair. Yes. Yeah, I did exactly the same thing. I accidentally took the big breath after I hit the water. Yeah. Suck it all in. Yeah, uh, my my two year old at the time uh, we were at the at a swimming pool yeah. on holiday. Yeah. Decided she was going to uh, do a no fear kamikaze dive off the side mm-hmm. into like just run and jump into the water, mm-hmm. which was about up to my chest level. Right. Yeah. And I was a couple of yards away at that point. Yeah. In motion towards her, saying, "No, no, don't do that. Yeah. Too late." Yeah. She okay, it was hilarious. so you're coughing and, <laughs> coughing and spluttering. You've taken six points of damage that's ignored yep. your armour, but you've made it across to the creature. Casting Suspend Enchantment. Okie dokie. So you cast... It, you cast it. Suspend Enchantment. Now, this is awkward because mm-hmm. you're working against the spell target number of the demon that cast it, aren't you? So just give me a In which case, th- those two spell points, yeah. um, I'll up my spell power. Don't tell us what to just yet, because I'm going to look okay. this up without looking at the screen, so I know what... Uh, um, okay. You can't You can't up your spell power. 18 Why? is your target number, because uh, your spell power is set, it's not part of the dice roll. Uh, stunt points. But it's not you your... Haven't passed. Yeah. Sorry? It's not your you spe- your spell power is not the important point here. It's whether or not you're passed and you haven't. At yeah. that oh, point. Right. Unless, unless you actually spend hands points. Mm. You could you spend hand points. You're going to need to beat an 18, and you only rolled 13, so you would need five mm-hmm. hand points. Yeah. I think we had a full six, did we not? Pan back, but I think you did. Yeah, I don't think we've spent any of them either. Yeah. Yep, so you've got there. You want to do that? Mm-hmm, we do. Okie dokie. Okay, so you um, cast the spell on the creature, which kind of turns to look at you. It brings its fist back, ready to pulverise your, your face. And as you cast the suspend and... Oh, God, this is going to be confusing. Um, it specifically works on enchantment arcanum, doesn't it? Do you want a reading of the spell? Yeah, please. I think I'm going to need it. Okay. You can manipulate mystic energy to suppress both positive and negative effects of an enchanted item. With a, with a touch and a successful casting roll, you temporarily suspend any enchantments on a mag- on a common magic item. So, right. Uh, Which uh, is rend- not. Yeah. Right. Rendering it cool. mundane and unusable for the remainder of the encounter. After the suspend enchantment spell ends, the item regains its normal properties. Among other things, this spell makes cursed items safe to handle while their enchantment is suspended. Any effect triggered by touching or handling an item does not take effect due to touching it to cast this spell as long as the spell is successful. If the spell fails, the item and all of its effects, both positive, positive and negative, function as normal. Okay. At the journeyman degree, yeah, which, which I have, yeah, okay. which, which you have to have to have this spell, <coughs> yeah. oddly, um, <laughs> yeah. You can ca- yeah, you can cast suspend enchantment at target number fifteen to affect common and uncommon items, okay. and at master you can uh, cast it at target number seventeen to affect common, uncommon, and rare. Right. Well, it, it's it, definitely it's... going to be rare. Uh, right. Right. In in, so... in which case it's out of my um, it's out of my it, cur- current it, abilities. Right. Okay. To, to affect at all. So that, that means case. I don't need to check the next bit, which I thought I was going to have to look in a bestiary and see if it counts as an enchanted item or not. Uh, but if you can't do it anyway, you wouldn't have known that till you tried. So you've wouldn't tried it till we tried, and then it, therefore it 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 wasn't possible to spend any number of hand points to make it successful. No. Th- therefore, those were not spent. No, they wouldn't have been spent. Right. Um, would not spend that because. You, although you wouldn't know it was impossible till you tried, I'm yes. going to say once you did try, fate has not intervened because yes. it knows it was never mm. going to be possible. So yes. that's how I'm going to rule that one. So you keep the yeah. fate points, you fail, the spell has failed to have the effect you hope it was have. 
You've attracted the creature's attention, and you'll get my fuck out of here using those sandals. Here. I am. You're going to walk as... on water. And, and right, right back where, back where I came from. Right, you With are. Your Jesus sandals. <laughs> so you, uh, whilst <laughs> you're more walking across the bottom of the, you're holding yes. that breath that uh, uh, is mostly water. You walk backwards across the, the thing and clamber out, sploshing wet as water sprays off you as you clamber out and you think, shit, could have done without that thing being um, that thing. Right, yeah, okay, next up are some, um, I've got to add some combatants to the combat, Ooh. so just give me a second, I need to find them. <coughs> uh, no, uh, you probably know it's coming, yep. uh, the clue was earlier, uh, so the, yep, da, 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 da. The, the, the whole bloodhound thing, absolutely. Yep. Is it Sister Erin in a wall? <laughs> Is it, it's Sister Erin in a wall, yeah. She suddenly emerges from the wall and grabs the creature and pulls it. No. <laughs> <laughs> pulls it under. <laughs> um, so hmm. that would be... Could, could an Iron Maiden drown? Uh, well, you don't know, but it well, seems to have been very, very cautious about not getting mm. into that water, doesn't it? So you've got a suspicion. It, it certainly doesn't seem to like the water very much. Uh, That's it, was, it, was it's cat, it was a cat down person. Here that we haven't noticed it's yet. Cat person, yeah. Sorry, Louise, you have? Because there's something worse down here that we haven't noticed yet. Well, it's the electric you eels. That. Um... <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so Callan to go first. Well, uh, it's a case of. Uh... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. No, forget I said that. Um, it hasn't added these guys to the. Initiative, so I need to find what their rules were. Um, uh, add a turn and add a turn. And I'm not going to re roll because I'd have made you guys keep the rule you'd actually made, so I'll do the same for them. So let's see, the master got seven. <laughs> you go Another. there. And the mistress got 16. That's a bit more respectable, isn't it? Uh, oh, the Iron Maidens uh, changed to a 16 from an 8. You must oh. have had them selected when you rolled. Ah, uh, yes, I must have done. So, Iron Maiden, 8. Uh, right, I'll have to reorganise this again. Descending. And uh, that should be it now. And uh, yes, Kellen to go first. Right, so what I'm going to do is... This is this is on the dodgy plank. Yes, this is on the dodgy plank. Right. Hmm. 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 Well, I'm going to attack it anyway. Okay, go for it. That's a hit. Like I say, it's uh, really easy to hit. <coughs> uh, but to no effect. To no effect. Your blow just glances off. Uh, minor action. Clang. Clang. Minor action. Minor action is always going to be to stand, stand firm, firm in this situ situation. Yeah. Very wise, because you know it's hoping to knock you into the water. Uh, this turn, I'll, I'll come round and boost your damage. So, Mog of the Bright Eye Clan, you to go. You're still bobbing about in the water there. I think is you're actually worth... standing on the bottom now, aren't you? Yeah, is it worth me coming up behind it and clanging it? Yes. Right, cool. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Go ahead and move yourself. So you clamber out the water, spraying water all, uh, all over as you clamber up onto the Thank you. platform You'll behind have to turn No problem. Uh, and that was a minor action, so you can make your major action to try and beat yep. it up. Uh -huh. uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So your target to hit is only nine, because you now outnumber it with two of you fighting it in hand-to-hand. -hand. There you go. Eleven. Eleven, that's yep. a hit. And remember to add, add, add your extra dice. Yeah. 14, so that's four points of damage. You get past its hefty armour. God. I was hoping for... Oh, shit, I think I've just damaged you. What damaged me? Sorry. Bounce back. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that idiot where he hits the block of wood that's nailed to the wall and it swings around and hits him in the head. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had... When I was building the fence, we had a very similar thing on one of the nights where like, I'd put the runners on, but I hadn't put the upright pickets yet. And uh, obviously we've got a security camera, so I saw it. This kid came up with a brick. I don't know where he got the brick, but he got a brick. And at point blank range, he, like, he actually came into the garden to do it. 
and by ducking under the one of the panels where the palings weren't on yet. Now, despite the fact that the gate post was right next to him and also hadn't got a gate attached yet, she so ducked under with a brick and then wanged the brick off the the bottom rail in the hopes of breaking it. And what happened instead is it bounced off it and just narrowly missed his face. <laughs> there's, there's a couple of uh, security cam videos where people try to brick windows. Uh, yeah, and it just bounces, bounces back. Off and hits them. There's, right. there's one with a car, and I think there's two with a like a shop. Yeah, but but the but the thing about the 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 one of them is the first idiot rocks up. And oh, his yeah, mate yeah. stood behind him, yeah, and, and he throws the, the brick, first. and it bounces out and takes his mate out behind him. <laughs> yeah, and then he, and then he throws he another one. Out. I've seen it, yeah. And knocks himself out. Yeah. And he just like, okay, seriously? So Monk has damaged the creature, um, yeah. quite self-evidently, so it's in quite a bad way now. Uh, Monk, do you have any... F oh, no, that's it, isn't it? So... <laughs> no, that's me, doing. I was kind of hoping for a bit more damage, but, you know. Yeah, Remember when I got the 21 the other week? Yes, that would have been nice for you, wouldn't it? Uh, I, I'm terribly sorry that that didn't happen. My heart breaks, honestly. It's the end, mate, and I want to break no heart. <laughs> Hold on, I'm cocking something up here. What am I doing wrong? Yes, I know what I'm doing wrong. So I need to attach this to the character. Uh, M, where are you? H, I. Huh. Ah, there we go. No. Right, why is that not? Because it's just under T, because it's the mistress, not just mistress. Dickhead. Right. T, T, T. Oh, fucking come on. Well, didn't they want us to put him down anyway? No, was these guys was... don't. Didn't. Well, they did say they did. But... Is that not what they said originally? They did well, say they that. Well, they actually lure us down here so we could kill us. The, the ghosts wanted us to do this. The um, master room, or the master at the very least, wanted us to come down here, um, probably just to get killed, just to get rid of us. Yeah. <laughs> he, he obviously didn't know who we were. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... He'll wish he talked. <laughs> They'll rue the day they ever crossed the company of lives. <laughs> okay, uh, nearly with you. It is, okay. Mana, it is. Yes, it is. And defense. Let me see. The. Uh, fox sake. There we go. No, nope, defense is not the right one. Defense value. Yeah, defence value. Brilliant. Fucking got there in the end. So, Mistress and Halia is over here now. So, she's going to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let me just see what her <coughs> movement is. Okay, so she gets another three out of that. And one, two, three, four. Oops, is it? Yeah, that should be fucking close enough, I think. So, Adrian, to go next, what would you like to do? Can Adrian detect where the master is? Yes. Um, is he on the board? Is he? Is he? W would he effectively like ping out in somewhere to her at this point? Uh, yeah. If you want to pan right the way to the left in a straight line with you, I'll start pinging the darkness. Isn't that? Is it? I don't know because I can't see what you're pinging. Hold on. Oh, got all the way down there. Right. Yeah. Okay. I see you. Right, so 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 that's that's all she knows. Can can we actually see what we can see? Uh, are, are, we, are we are we meant to see that? Yeah. Yes, that's the mistress approaching. Right. <clears throat> you can just um, 
Well, Adrienne, I'm not sure if she could see it because yes, it's just come within the the, yeah. the light. I think the yeah, light. She's speed. the one giving off the light, so yeah. as long as that's within twenty, and it is, that's fifteen. So yeah, the mistress has just come out of the darkness. She's okay. no longer invisible. You'll notice. Yep. I think it would be worthwhile saying to her, um, shouting down there, Nabiri told us to do this. Okay. Uh, so Adrienne yells down that N Nabiri told you to do this. You can't tell in the darkness whether the mistress has heard you, yeah. what her facial expression is, or what she's going to do. Hmm. Right. I think... Um... Actually, no, I will have a. Um, no, I'll not. I'll not. Okay, go ahead. Chosen a fit. <coughs> okay, so that's a 60. Uh, that's a. Oh, that's, added that up. that's 3, 6, 10, 11. That's a fail. There's, there's two pluses in there for some reason. Um, I'll, I'll I'll fix it first if I may. Yep, you can. Uh, and 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 then then take the free reroll. The free reroll. From uh, from Sia. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, can, can any, anybody see exactly what 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 the problem is with that? Uh, yeah. No, but if I cut, if I pick up your character sheet, I might be able to. Yeah. Give, give me Your a spell's not set correctly with its focus. Adrian. The uh, focus just has a multiplication symbol in it, just, just like an asterisk. Uh, right, okay. It needs so to be a two. It needs to be a two, yeah. Right, okay. Done. That should, that so, should work this time. So, right, um, so... Let's just work. You said that was an 11, yeah? That was 3, 6, yes, that was an 11. Level would be, would be 13 at that point. It, which, in, which then includes the, the focus. Yeah. Is it better off uh, to get the, the certainty by using hands? Well, I suppose I can take the free reroll, can't Oh, no, it's, it's not free. It's, it's two, two magic two points. Magic two points. magic do you points. Want to, do you want to spend two magic points or the three hands points? Your yeah, choice. yeah. Let, let's. Let's, uh, let's spend the magic first. Okay. Because everybody can get the benefit of hands, and it's, it's going to need that casting again to, <coughs> to to use again, which will slow the whole thing down. So that was twelve points to to roll that one, just so you know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a, a big. Uh, it thing is. There. Yeah. We 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 well, it's a it's a master level spell. We we don't want this one failing, basically. Okay. Right. Okay. So right. do you do you reroll? Yep. Yeah, reroll for two. Oh my god. Fail. I'm gonna yeah. I, no, I'm gonna no. take, take the hands point. Yeah, okay. There you yeah. go. Yeah. So passed. She drained so, one point of fate, yeah. and just as you're about to mispronounce the uh, the one of the key points of the spell. Fate intervenes, and you, you actually stumble over it and manage to pronounce it correctly by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, fate responds, so you are now the chosen of fate. Do you want to tell us what all that does? Certainly. Uh, you weave the web of fate to your favour at a critical time. For the remainder of the encounter, you and your allies within 10 metres of you... Yeah. May re-roll your stunt die when generating stunt points and take the better, better result. Two. Next one. And is yep. it for, on every time you generate stunt points? Every, every time. Every time you generate stunt points for the remainder of the encounter? Yep. No wonder it costs wow. two points. Yeah. As long as you're within 10 metres of Adrienne when you yes. generate those stunt points, though. That's an important point to remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only that's takes effect it. if the original die roll qualified for stunt points. Yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you so have that's... to generate stunts to be able to use it. I'm going mm -hmm. to assume that's a major action. Oh God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this one goes. No, that one's actually a minor yeah, action. Exactly. <laughs> here's, here's now my real spell. Yeah. My next trip. <laughs> any minor actions? I'm going to very quickly double check and just see if she has actually got any any minor spells. I don't believe she does. The, the, do you know that they're, they're a handy thing to have, and it's it's not the kind of thing you would you would think of 
yeah, yeah. You know, while, while choosing stuff, you know, to make sure you've got some miners in there. No, but um, once again, stand firm. Possibly give a little bit more explanation uh, to Mistress and Halia. Yep, go for it. Well, uh, what uh, else would you like to say? The wicked demon's dead. Um, yeah, well, yeah, uh, we've 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 destroyed one of the demons that, that's here. Um, your your ancestors have asked us to to free you from from the yoke that you're under. Join us. We will take care of you. We are here to help. Okay, so go ahead and give me a um, persuasion roll, a communication persuasion roll. As a minor? Uh, yeah, so, while well, you're saying some stuff, let's see if you manage to convince her. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the target number is, so Absolutely. you won't, won't know till she actually reacts on mm -hmm. her, uh, her go. Okay, so you're making an impassioned speech about how her ancestors have um, suggested that you come down here and, and do this and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and it is Gora to go next. We want penetrating damage, don't we? Uh -huh. Yes, you want penetrating uh, damage against and we, us. And we, we, want, we want the chance of better than what Jolt's been giving us because the... Yeah. the the desirable effect of jolt is less likely to it's, work on this it's thing. It's stun, yeah. yeah. Anything right. that gets physical attributes saves against, it's very likely to, to shrug off because it's strength, constitution... And it's better than me. And strength and constitution things. are high. You know it's dexterity is piss poor. Mm. Uh, and f you think it's willpower is not great, but you're not 100% sure. It's, it's, it's um, con stamina, yeah? It's got con stamina. It's, it's got it's yes, strength. strength yeah. Might yeah. so even if I go for shock blast, mm -hmm. which could do anywhere up to ten penetrating damage. Yeah. It could save against that and and render it down to six. Yes. Not only from the oh, dice. A, a D six. Yeah. 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 So your chance, your chances is to spend a minor number of points. Yeah. Yeah, and do two points of guaranteed penetrating damage. Yeah. And it might, it might, it just might fail <coughs> the stun check. Mm -hmm. Apologies for the crunching sound you're about to hear. I'm going to buckle and eat some of these or uh, crisps. Or you could spend mm -hmm. more yeah. points on a, on a shock blast. Mm. And you see, the thing is, if you do stunt, you can add more penetrating damage. What would you rather? Add more penetrating? Oh, um, what, by making it lethal and, and what have you, yeah. Yeah, against that's a, that's against, a very, that's a very against good point. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For a minor amount of point, it's too guaranteed. Mm. Which is a, which is whittling it down, or it is. doing something else which may or may not penetrate it. I mean, the thing is, you could fire another pistol shot at it. I've and, got me, I've got my blunderbuss still loaded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can probably hit me, Morgan. Um... There's a small yeah. chance, but it's not a not a likely one. Likely one. Yeah. Mechani mechanically, how would that small chance be worked out? But you've also been in the water, remember? Oh. Are your it's black really powder weapons? Oh. Well, um, yeah. Well, to be fair, I, I didn't state that I was I was leaving them on the shore, did I? No, you no. didn't. No. I hadn't thought of that, but yes, good point, Sean. That, that is that is um, ab absolutely fair. So all, all the powder would be wet. That's probably why I was so clumsy getting over the railing. No, <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I, I was completely weird weird down with firearms. Oh. Yeah. Done, Makes sense. Done, under the water with all of that. That's probably yeah. why you dropped so fast into That's the. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Right. Has Gora clocked the mistress? Um, well, let me just check. Well, Adrian, then... Adrian is shouting. Uh, yes, Adrian's shouting to the mistress, so you know she's in the area. Give me, and you know roughly where to look, give yep. me a perception seeing test. I'm going to make this an easy test, so anything over nine and you'll spot her. <coughs> I've got... I've got, I've got two thoughts mm -hmm. as to what I could do. Anything over a nine, did you say? Equal to or over that, over, yeah. Then I've spotted it. Right. If there's a risk of incoming spells, I could make it so that uh, they don't have a visible target. Mm -hmm. 
and and they'd be firing blind essentially into the entire area. And I could dress it up uh, with a minor arcana, something like um, uh, mage's mantle or something like that, mm -hmm. Ar arcane mantle, uh, to make it look like I'm casting something else. Mm -hmm. Or <coughs> if if I could possibly edge round past Adrienne. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, you can't, she is kind of blocked because it's a very narrow walkway. So, so I definitely can't get round at all. You can't get past her. No. She'd have to step back into the right. uh, into the tunnel cor yeah. corridor, or she'd have to move round. Yeah, yeah she, she's already gone this turn. Yeah. Right. If there's only a very small chance of hitting Morgan Kellen, or no, no, <coughs> powder's wet. Powder's wet. Yeah. It's, it comes down to a spell. Then. Okay, then. Um, I'm I'm going to take the risk, spend a little bit more magic, and try to get as much penetrating damage on the Iron Maiden as possible. Okay, go for it. You're going to do a shock blast. I, I am. Go ahead. Definitely, definitely within range. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Virtually point blank. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Lightning arcs out of the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Strikes it, or does it? <laughs> it does. Yeah, so our, uh, lightning shrieks from your um, your staff and or fingertips and launches straight across the pool and slams into the creature. It flashes across the the surface. You can see sparks lighten up and uh, bright pops and bangs. Uh, right, right. You've, you've generated you've generated three stunt points. Mm -hmm. Do you want to re-roll that? Uh, yes, I think I do. Right, given that you've got mm -hmm. a 50-50 oh, yeah. chance of getting more. Mm -hmm. Right, but two is what you need for an extra dice of damage. Yes. Um, You're guaranteed that at the moment. And it, is, <coughs> it, 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 it is take the better result as well, so that there is no downside to using that ability. Not really, no. Oh, it's yeah. to take a better result. So, better yeah, better result. Result. yeah, I yeah. thought it was you just re-roll it and had to accept the no. second. But no. if it's taking the level result, spell, take the better result. Yeah, <laughs> always like re-roll well. then no, on, no on three or less. Try, really. <laughs> it's a three. F <laughs> <laughs> I've told it's you it was a three. <laughs> okay. Three is a three. So, yeah. what would you like to do with the stunt points and how much damage are you doing? Uh, I think that would be uh, a mighty spell. Okay. I think I've popped turn order and start on top of the mystery it, it needs to then make a is it willpower saving test or is it constitution saving test? it's it con unfortunately con stamina con stamina against 14 in that case against spell power in which okay. case oh in which case yeah i'll use the other one to boost my spell power by one yeah right so what's happened so it needs to make a scon, uh, a scon, uh, a con stamina <laughs> test against fifteen. Yeah, <coughs> con stamina 15. test against fifteen. So let's. Which it probably will make it because it's got a shed load of con stamina. It does indeed. Constitution mm. stamina. There we go. Seventeen. It passed. Right. Mm. So you only get your two d six worth of penetrating damage in that case. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll the damage. Double six. Double six. Come on. Double six. Gonna try. Roll them dice. Fickle finger of fate. Well, Eight of points of damage. So, mm -hmm. uh, the creature's reeling from the blast. Um, it is looking quite a bad bad way now. Bad, maybe. Bad. Bad, yeah. So, does Gora have anything else to do? Pray for guidance. Pray for guidance, <laughs> right, you are. While you're praying for guidance, the um, Iron Maiden is going to turn around and sock the person who sucker punched it okay. from behind earlier. I figured it might. Uh, but, yeah. but does it need to make a bridge test first? It will need to make a bridge test. It doesn't matter whether it's first or... I'll do it first, actually. Oh, I still need that open. So it's strength, might... 19 or better sends it through 17 so it hasn't gone through the bridge yeah we, we've been rolling quite well against the bridge yeah you have okay so thump 13 to hit does that hit mog uh, i think it does by one yeah it does by one does by one okay bad luck so we can turn we can, we, can, we can puppet that you can puppet it if you want to do you want uh, to try it's not worthwhile 
No, I'm I'm, okay. I'm still pretty chunky on the HP. It, it's but it's got a it. bonus of plus seven in there. Well, it has it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're probably Fair at enough. a higher risk of having it re-roll and generate stunts than you are at having yeah. it re-roll. Ah, right, fear. yeah. So it thumps Mog for thirteen damage. It's still quite a hefty. It thumps attacker. Mog for five damage. Thumps Mog for five damage. Right, so it turns and smacks her full in the side, right in the kidneys. <laughs> Fortunately Ooh, for you, the armor pads that out a little bit, but um, it's still painful. Funnily yeah. enough. Uh, yeah, I felt that when you mentioned kidneys. Thanks. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, and with its minor action, there's nothing it can do from there. It's now trapped on this bridge with enemies fore and aft, as it were. So, next up is the Master. And the Master moves at 12. Okay. So, 12 for a minor action. And obviously a bit more for so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, um, 12 is his minor action. And let me just pan out a little bit and see if you can see out yet. Oh, no, he won't be able to. So. He's, he's, he's got a rubber ring on and some <laughs> water wings. He's in a snorkel and he's like the flippers and he's coming down the waterway. <laughs> so what's he going to use? Um... I am the underwater master. <laughs> Let me just have a look at these spells, see what he's up to. See, if I had somebody with water arcana in here, it would be like... Oh. Yeah, it would. Yeah. There is one Sorry, of the majors that you body. captured has got uh, water master, uh, water in here as well, I think. Um... Yeah, if you had Water Mage you knew with you, though, he'd be singing really irritating songs the whole time, so... Yeah. Be, be there, it's like, Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tiger's like the water. Yeah, he's just going to keep coming, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Gets to there. Okay. So that's the master who goes last in the turn. So that's uh, the fight starting to take a new turn as two new combatants are beginning to enter it. You're not entirely sure what side they're going to be on. You're not entirely sure what their response to Adrienne's uh, pleadings um, about what's going on is going to be. The creature itself looks badly damaged. The fight is either going to take a turn for your advantage or disadvantage. But as of yet, you don't quite know which. We'll find out next week. Oh, what? <laughs> You're going to end the stop on five o'clock, eh? Stop on five o'clock. Right. <laughs> My dude. Yeah, well, we're never going to get this finished by uh, um, uh, in, in the next couple of moves anyway. So, uh, yes, we're going to leave it there on a nice cliffhanger so you can find out which side they're coming on and what else may or may not be about to happen. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed the game. Uh, Absolutely. I know it's another combat, but that was your choice, so I don't feel as if I'm <laughs> I'm forcing them on you, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, um, I I I like combat. I had noticed. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's the plethora of guns and the multiple of options that are available. Yeah. I take yeah. it. it. It's yeah. it's. You also like the exploration and the puzzle solving, though, so I wasn't yes. sure that whether you'd go for that or whether you'd go for, for this. But anyway, well, the, the, the puzzles can wait. We, we, as, you know long the as, are there. as long as you guys are enjoying it, that's the main thing. So The entire tower's like an activity centre. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, thank you very much for the people at home who tuned in to watch. I hope you're also enjoying the show. We'll be back next week where we'll pick up and find out what happens when the mistress and the master uh, emerge from the darkness and see this battle going on and see which of the many theories the party have about which side they might join in on is actually going to pan out. In the meantime, do stay safe, take care, and we will see you next week from us for now. Goodbye. Ta-da. Take care. Bye for now.